everybody. It is Wednesday, April 12th. Beautiful spring day. You know, it's off the rails. Back again. Mm Mm-hmm. Today's episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN and Stamps.com. We love our sponsors. We love them. Well, as you guys all, uh, I'm sure, saw, uh, Monday's episode was quite a roller coaster. We uh, p- played the call with BBTV. And uh, the, the battle was going to continue today, actually. We had, like, lawyers queued up to call in. Uh, <clears throat> you know... But this morning, I have to tell you, people don't believe the title. I don't believe it either. So this morning, I got an email from their uh, general counsel. This is the woman I was emailing with, my pen pal. The one you sent the minion meme to. Yeah, 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 to them, exactly. And so um, she's like, hey, uh, Far- Farzad. Farzad? Farzad. Sorry. See, I already forgot her name. I'm over it. <laughs> Shartzad. That's how I remember. She said, hey, uh, F- uh, Sharzad wants to get on the call with you this morning, if possible. You know, a good faith call. No recording, they said. I said, yeah, I'm down. You know, why not? I'd love to, to resolve this. Uh, I don't want to do all this nonsense, but you know I'll do it. <laughs> You fucking knew I would, I'm just, I'll, you know, I'm, I'm being careful of what I say today. A little <laughs> okay. bit yeah. Maybe, yeah. 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 That music gets under your skin. I got to thank God for the button yesterday, boy. This thing right here. Mm. Powerful piece of technology. There's the Manhattan Project. Mm-hmm. And then there's the, moon the button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Biden. The most important uh, human mm-hmm. advances in science. <clears throat> so, anyway, Nancy, oh, whatever, I said her name. But she's, she, I was going to say she's nice. She's awesome. I, it's nothing wrong with saying her name. I was going to say that <clears throat> General Cancel uh, emailed me. And then, so, we call at 11. Nancy, uh, I love her. She's so nice. She set up the Zoom. And she's like this sweet old mom. Boomer. She didn't know how to use Zoom. Mm. She did not know how to use Zoom. I love she's Nancy. She's like, how do I invite uh, Sharzad? And I was like, and I Nancy. Can't get up. I was like, Nancy, this is great. Um, <laughs> you know, it's not like you work for a tech company. She laughed. She liked that? She did. She liked because she she was like genuinely. The nicest and happiest sounding person, Aww. which made me a giggle even more. Like, she must have been so confused by the minion meme. Because, <laughs> like, she doesn't know Pretty how to nice. use Zoom. <laughs> oh, maybe she couldn't get the attachment open and she doesn't even know. <clears throat> yeah. So, so she gets on the call. She's trying to figure out how to get Sharzad on the Zoom. And then once Sharzad was on the Zoom, she was trying to figure out how to pass ownership for a few minutes. We're just like, just hang up, Nancy. It's okay. Just hang up. I, the reason I like saying your name, my childhood's best friend's mom was name was Nancy. So I guess I have an affinity for Nancy's sweet ladies. Love Nancy's in general. Shout out to all the Nancy's. Yeah. (laughs) But you know, it was funny to meet her because for some reason, I imagined her being more slick when we were talking back and forth and her uh, saying, you've crossed business and professional boundaries. And then when I get on the phone, she's like just the nicest. uh, She's almost like, I don't don't know her age, so I don't want to offend her, but almost like a young, nice, kind of in the grandma age. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was funny to meet. Whoops. Oops. Sometimes I open the stream because I want to see chat, and then that always happens. So, apologies. 
but so um, so she was nice. She was super nice. I was like, "Hey, it's nice to meet you, Nancy. We're pen pals." <laughs> Oh my god. She wasn't she wasn't she wasn't affected by anything I said. She's like, yeah, we're pen pals. I'm like, great. <laughs> I should have asked her what she thought about my minion meme. I f- didn't. It just slipped my mind. So um So then she leaves and it's me, Hila, and Sharzad on the phone. I don't well first let me say this at the top, okay? <clears throat> Please. Please, please, please do not go after, email, interact with BBTV employees at all. Never, ever, ever do it. It's even worse than being a beta. <laughs> That's some Omega shit. <clears throat> I want to say, it's, uh, this, this dispute was between me or us and them, and I will say it has been resolved. So please, please, guys, if you're doing any of that crap, and I emphasized that on Monday, I did emphasize that, but please, 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 guys, don't do it. Don't. It's not for me. Don't do that for me. Don't do it for you. Just don't do it, okay? This is all, we're just having, this is just for us. We're just family. Family only. This is a family affair. Family. <laughs> So I got on the call with Sharzad, and right at the top she said, um, uh, we are going to pay you back the full amount. Boom. Done. Conversation over. And I said, okay, um, I said, is it one payment or like installments? She said, one payment. I said, okay, interesting. <laughs> then I said, is it, when is it going out? And she said, I don't want to say anything and, and, and be wrong, but as soon as possible. I said, okay, interesting, interesting. Interesting. I was at this point <laughs> quite, uh, I don't want to say almost disappointed. <laughs> don't say that. Come on. I had already, you know. Oh, no, this is a huge W. Why are you disappointed? Well, I, I just want to make the point that I was like, listen, listen. Sharzad, if this is the route you want to go, that's awesome. It's going to be a lot less trouble for all of us. This isn't my first rodeo. But at the same time, (laughs) play the music, Zach. Oh, boy. I was ready. (laughs) I was. Oh, I know you were. You were not kidding. And I said, Sharzad, I want to make one thing clear to you. I am going to accept that payment and will consider it resolved, but I will not put any strings or stipulations attached to it. That's my, I'm not going to give quantifiers for my money returned to me. She said, that's fine. So she said, that's fine. (sighs) To me, I'm a bit conflicted at this moment. We had a cordial conversation. We did. What are you conflicted? You should be celebrating. (laughs) You seem sad. Because... (sighs) You wanted the fight. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that. It's, it's, we, we had a, we are, we, I wouldn't say we argue. We, we had a lively discussion. Just, I said, look, just between us, you know you're wrong, right? It would not be just between you, though, because now we're talking about it. Well, I mean, no like, idea. I'm not recording the call. <laughs> right. yeah. You are wrong. <laughs> Because this is my show. I feel like I, after everything we've been through, I, ha- I owe it to everybody to tell what happened. People yeah, are saying, no, is this bait? No, this is not bait. This no, is 1,000% real. We are not trolling. This is, this is the real deal. This is 1,000% really real. Um, look, ultimately, I said to her, I, I'm not, I can't remove anything. I just can't. I can't do stip- the stipulations. And, you know, I'll just say this without getting too deep into it. She gracefully accepted uh, that and agreed to, excuse me, pay us back the full amount. <laughs> People are saying I'm capping so hard. Trust me, this is the li- I did not expect this at all. <laughs> it's the boy who cried wolf, man. <clears throat> well, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, 
people are saying Japan trip. Here we go. Let's go. That's right. That is kind Let's of inter- that's an interesting <laughs> idea. Because that's just a very great interesting one. idea. That's an amazing idea. Unbelievably interesting idea. interesting idea. Unbelievably interesting. All, about all right, wait. Uh, unbelievable. Let's in, let's investigate this further. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm so interested. In that's this. you know what? That's actually a really. We should do something crazy with that. Let's mommy. go crazy. Like go to Japan. Like make a competing media company. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Start an MCN. <laughs> We should actually. That's that's such a good point because I never expected to see a penny of that money back. Yeah, I, I yeah. In fact, I expected to spend as much just suing them for no reason. So <laughs> let's go back to Vegas. So we got six hundred twenty thousand or six hundred twenty thousand, and as long as we record it, it's a it's it do a bit. It's all a tax write off. There you go. Yeah, we can go to Vegas. We can go big at Vegas. That was fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Japan. I'm sorry. Japan is, I not settle, here's my problem with Japan. It's just too time consuming. I can't take that much time away from the family and stuff. It's just, I can't do it. Bring them. Bring the my respect. kids. It's amazing. Family vacation, you know? Mm. See the world. He what was about to be, to come, uh, I mean, Bruce is like a year old. Okay, traveling with when he was pregnant is. I well, she's not yet pregnant, but Bruce is a year old. Japan is not happening. I'm sorry, guys. I know. I'm sorry. It's just, just not. It's just not up, in the car. Dude. You I, I'm not. I'm up, not ready. Dude. I'm not ready. I'm just not ready to take that kind of trip right now because, like, we'd have to go there for at least a week, right? Yeah. Uh, you don't yeah, fly to Japan and not. Yeah, yeah. No, you'd want to stay for a while. But then, what do we do about the show? You saying we do shows in Japan? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Easy. We do shows in Japan. You think we could do a live show there in Japanese? Probably not that part, but all, but yeah, we could do a live show in Japan. Sure. Can't we do something fun? I, I saw him was just there. He was like live streaming, walking the streets. Like, yeah, but it, we don't. We're not. Problem. Yeah, but unlike Hassan, we actually put effort into our content. Just kidding, Hassan. You know, I mean, I he went that. to the other side of the planet for content. That seems like a lot of effort. No, nah, he no, nah, he took a holiday. <laughs> but can we do something like more local? You know what I mean. Like a crazy weekend in Vegas I can do. Hawaii is a lot closer than Japan. Hawaii? Yeah. I love It's like half the that distance. Idea. It's like I'm bitter. I'm bitter about Hawaii. Why are you bitter Why? about Hawaii? Hawaii? Because our last trip was so lame, um, I felt like. Oh. Me and Ela went there. Hawaii? Uh, Hawaii. I'm trying to think what else is close. I don't know. I'm just. I'm I love the idea of us just taking a bougie ass trip on. Uh, well, we'll, you know what we'll do, Sharzad? We'll wear BBTV shirts, BBTV hat. There, there you go. go. Just lay out on our BBTV towels, <laughs> like the Vlog Squad at Coachella. Right. With their Vlog Squad shirts. Right. <laughs> it's gonna be great. In fact, Sharzad, why don't you join us? I'm not paying for you for the record. You'll have to pay for yourself. Nancy, I'll pay for you. <laughs> You're invited. <laughs> People are saying Canada. I'm going to avoid Canada while, uh, for a little while. I'm going to lay low in Canada. God dang. I... Ugh, Mexico? I'm not trying to die. Baltimore? Okay. I said That's we it. go on a uh, barbecue tour of Texas. Get barbecue. some good barbecue tour. Some good barbecue. Barbecue tour? Yeah, barbecue tour. Texas? Yeah. Get some yeehaws going on. I like yeehawing. There we go. It's affordable. Uh, Japan Crew Fund, thank you for the five, but uh, we're not going to Japan. Thank <laughs> you, though, Jamie. Um, I do want to say also, yesterday morning, they unlinked us. Mm-hmm. So we are free. All the money, everything now is coming to us. They're, they're out of the picture. This is all us now. Pretty Pretty crazy. I mean, you guys got any other ideas? I'm thinking like a weekend trip. I, I'm sorry. I just, it's so hard this for me to get away. It's getting downgraded. But I'll go, but I'll, we'll go all out, dude. We can take like the private, uh, how do you call that? The jet suite? The jet suite X to Vegas so we can all fly privately. It's like a 40 minute flight. It's awesome. Hmm. We can take like a black SUV there together. Sam says go to a ranch? What does that even mean? Let's go to a ranch, Ethan. It's so fun. What does that mean? She wants to go, like, be a cowgirl? Texas barbecue tour. Like a dude ranch kind of thing? Dude ranch. 
We go wrangle some cattle? What do we do at a dude ranch? Oh. Hang out with dudes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says visit love. We just show up at love's door. <laughs> hey, can we stay here? Oh, Sweden? I mean, that's about as... That's a long ass stay, travel. Course. What about a million dollar visa? <laughs> I've heard if you have a million dollars, you can get a visa. I don't have no, well, it's not a it's you're, you're not a 62 well, percent of the way. Yeah, we'd yeah, have yeah. to <laughs> Yeah. We'd have to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, but I'll fly you out. Shit, I got crazy money. I'll fly you Shit. out. I got crazy. I got crazy BBTV money. <laughs> I'll fly you out. You want to come out? Can you? I'll come out. Wait, can you when you're on this doing this process? Yeah. Uh just check know, with the probably. attorney. Just check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll fly you out. Ain't no fucking problem there for me, baby. BBTV Shit. sends the regards. What about a? Uh, it is my money. To, uh, what about Disney World? Disney World. What about Dave and Buster's, Zach? What about? Oh, that? dude, we could shut down Dave and Buster's, boy. What about Sam, Alaska? If Sam says go to a ranch, you can ride horses, go rafting. It's all inclusive with food and everything. I lied. I I agree fun. with Sam. I think we should do J -R -H -N -B -R. that. J R H N B R. I want to ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to a ranch. Okay, you have any good ranch ranch ideas? Let's go to the. This uh, doesn't strike me as like a bougie vacation. Let's go to the Four I'm Seasons. Sure there's probably nice ones. Go to the Four you Seasons. You actually are interested in that? Cam wants this to be us. Oh no. Would it be insensitive? Maybe not this specifically, but. Would it be insensitive if we reenacted the? Uh, yeah, I think there's someone hanging right there. Yeah, that would be very insensitive. All dressed up like Logan Paul. It would not. Be very sensitive at all. AV can be the cadaver. Mm hmm. Like, not for real. I mean, yeah. it doesn't have to be you. I didn't mean anything by that. Yeah, no. I'm <laughs> down. It'll be theater. Yeah. Sam has a ranch. She is pushing hard. It's very expensive, Sam says. Okay, it's, as long as it's expensive. <laughs> as long as it's a big waste of money. <laughs> Don't you guys want to do like a bougie ass Vegas trip? I'll give everyone a bunch of money Vegas to gamble is with. So like, well, I mean, if you want to just give me a bunch of money, <laughs> dude, Vegas That's would be good. the move. I I can't go to Vegas without love. I need love. I've never He's been coming. to Vegas. Okay. I oh, you to have? Go. Wait, how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, good. Yeah, I was at school though when you guys went last year. Right. 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 I'm open to other ideas, but if we go to Vegas, I can give everyone like a thousand bucks just to gamble with, pay for the private suite. We'll stay at a really nice hotel. I mean, that doesn't sound bad to me, but... I want to go back to that pizza place we ate at. Oh, that was good. That was so good. Mm -mm, I remember that, yeah. But I'm open. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, Disney World? I don't know. I've never been to Disney World. Isn't it the same thing? No. No, it's, it's like way bigger. bigger. Yeah. What's different about it? I thought it was the same rides. They got, like, Animal Kingdom, Epcot. Like, there's different... Like Even, parks. It, yeah. It's like ten times the size of it. You guys want to go to Disney crazy. World? We can do the whole tour there and stuff. Yeah. I mean, if we do it like the, like the the bougie fancy thing we did at Disneyland, that could yeah, be of course fun. we'll do that. What the hell? Of course, <laughs> we must do that, Dan. I got 620k, brother. I mean, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure everybody'd be down for that. That check better clear now, Charizard, or there's gonna be a lot of disappointment. Mm -hmm. in yeah. The meanwhile, room. BBTV, they're like, ah, let's not pay him. Fuck. Sha <laughs> meanwhile, Charizard's like, we're about to go bankrupt, and these guys are talking about. No, I'm just kidding. She she assured me their finances are. Fantastic. Well, I'll say this. They have uh, $620,000 to send me, so it can't be that bad. Money! Yeah, Money. I, I... I thought they didn't have it. I, I did. And really I'll tell did. you this, BBTV, I'm very excited to announce that uh, <laughs> their stock is back up uh, one and a half cents today, so that's good. WeBTV! <laughs> I think they're they recouped from the uh, earlier loss. Mm -hmm. As you, if you go out to Max, well, I guess it's a little hard to see there, but maybe if you do like a five month. day, five day. Uh, this is what happened. They uh, lost five cents. That was a crushing blow. Can we do like blow. three day? There's no like three day option to make it look. I good. can do one day. Okay, I'm in. They're in the money. Look it's at green. that. green. That's ten. That's a you. You guys see that? Cha ching. Cha ching. To the moon, baby. BBTV. I will say this, though. While it seems like my situation's resolved and I'm very happy about that, I do think that 
I, I think that if anyone is with BBTV, they're, I think, going to hopefully be just double checking the, the, uh, the receipts. Yeah. I, I mean, I, th I assume people are doing it. I'm just the only idiot that somehow didn't do that for like three years. Hold just it. crazy. I want to check. <laughs> um, Hold it. I want to check. <laughs> Zach. It's pretty Took good. Took me a second. <laughs> um, uh, I was, oh, I, I, I said I was going to erase the social posts, but I'm not erasing the podcast. So I'm doing that for you now. Click. She's like, I didn't, she's like, not like this. You're supposed to just do it, not say like you're doing it. That's just not how I do it. I say everything. Dan sends me messages in Discord for me. I read them out loud. Mm -hmm. That's Who just says it'd be so easy for me to fucking destroy your life. Just tell me some. I gotta literally. I do the Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy. Thing. Thing, yeah. yeah, I could just type something. I got the button now, boy. Reason. You ain't. I guess that's true. Shit. That's true. Boom. <laughs> Not at home though. Mm. Actually, and I'll tweet out that uh, it's been resolved. Um. Yeah, but I can't. I can't erase the podcast. Delete the hateful tweet in question. Oh, uh, well, that's not how I would exactly uh, <laughs> describe the situation, but I hear you. So I guess. Well, why don't we do a vote? You guys want to do a vote? See where people think we should go. No, I'm I cool. Think we I should think... decide. Oh, okay. I want to leave that to the <laughs> audience. Fair enough. Well, don't you want at least some input? It doesn't. It's not binding. Well, listen, we threw out a lot of good ideas. Ultimately, it's your money, wherever you want to go. No, it's up, no, 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 no. It's up, I mean, well, obviously I can't go to, like, Japan and crazy trips like that because it's just too, too time-consuming. I'm thinking, like, a weekend, maybe a long weekend, like three days. But anywhere... I think the Disney World trip ain't bad. And we could turn it into content. Oh, yeah. We've never been to Florida before. We certainly talk about Florida enough. I love Florida. I'd love to go there. I think and that'd be awesome. AB's going to be in Florida in a couple hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm erasing oh my social posts, and this is a courtesy. I I I told her, listen, no strings attached, but I said I'll erase the social ones. They got the uh, Avatar Land there, I think, at Disney. Let's fucking mm. go to Pandora. I'm saying you can watch all the Avatar films on the plane trip over there, Ethan. Oh. <laughs> I'll swap seats with Ela so we can sit together and we can watch it mm -hmm. and hold hands. I say, uh, happy to announce that BBTV has agreed to pay us back in full. There you go. <laughs> so let's start planning it, dude. Oh, somebody just pointed out. There is a Disneyland in Tokyo. That's not happening. Oh. Yeah, you got to let that go. And they have the Attack on Titan World at Universal there. Mm -hmm. You got to let that go, you guys. You Everyone don't want to go to Attack I'm, on Titan? That sounds I'm, right. Personally, I'm feeling Vegas. That's my vote. We go to just like, saying. You know why, Zach? Vegas is always fun, but it's also it's four hours away, and I don't know about you. Well, we fly been a million times. We fly, but you're I, I Disney World is more epic. I just mean yeah, it's just like we can go to. Vegas I mean, I've never time. been there. Exactly. Let's. Uh, it's a novel adventure. It's a novel adventure, Zach. Can we get Gatsby's. <gasps> we got the funds, yo. yo. Oh, Gatsby. The Gatsby, the Gatsby train. Chat that was say we... my dream that we all get. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> we all get uh, disability mobility scooters and cruise the whole thing with a tour guide. Right. Oh my god, it's so obnoxious, but it's so fun. It's a disability mobility. I think we get canceled for that. <laughs> Rightfully so. But it's so funny. At a certain point, it's like, yeah, maybe it's a little insensitive, yeah. but at the same time, like the funniness has got to. <laughs> Because we would have like a whole ass car park outside every ride. <laughs> it would be so. I don't think they would allow it. It's frankly. funny, dude. It's the VIP tour. They'll. T no. What are they gonna say? It, it's gonna be like so disruptive to the other guests. <laughs> I feel like they'd overrule us. I wonder if when we're on <laughs> a ride, if we leave that many Gatsby's just out, do you think someone will jack at least one? Well, we'll take the keys with us. Mm. Well, a VIP yeah. mobility oh, car. Yeah. Yeah. I can hire security it has a to car. follow us. It has we'll a be car VIP on. on the mobility scooters. I yeah. see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get security. I can get shit. For, you can do a lot with 620. 
You could do a lot. And there's really nice hotels there we can stay at. Oh, Sam's here. Dude, dude Ranch Sam. Unmute me. Okay. <laughs> I need to defend the ranch. That was the most fun trip I have ever been on. Ian knows. I talk about it constantly. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. There's when so did much this, to do. Okay, when did this ranch trip happen? Uh, 2018 was the last time we went. So it was a while, so it was five years ago. Yeah. And how old are you now, may I ask? I'm 25. 25. Because I did river rafting when I was a young man, and it was awesome, fun. Yeah. I don't think I'd enjoy it as much now. You will enjoy it as an adult. I'm like, confident. When I was, when I did it, I was skinny, and I could, like, hold up my body weight. I can't even hold my body weight. Think of I'll how funny die. it would be if we were all in a raft together. <laughs> yeah, there's water rides. I think it sounds... World. I think it sounds... No. Fun, man. I, I, there wasn't much. You don't think you need to get too defensive about it. I don't think there was. Well, even was just didn't sound as excited as he needed. I just to don't be. think he understands. I, 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 I just I, don't think he understands. I just never heard of going to a ranch. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm with him on that. I'm not saying it's not fun, but I've never heard of that. Okay. It's like a vacation. I both. Oh, it's, it ranch. just surprised me. That's all. Yeah, it's it's a blast. I, in my opinion, I don't think Disney World's bougie enough. What, dude? Disney World is like the bougiest, one of the bougiest trips. Is it People really? People have to take like more second mortgages on their house to take their family there. <laughs> Wait, like, really? You have to literally take out a loan to go there. <laughs> I've been to Disney World before. I didn't know it was like that. It's so expensive. freaking expensive. The hotels there are insanely expensive. We got to fly there. I mean, it's gonna cost me a lot less than six hundred twenty thousand bucks. Mm. Well, where where would this money. ranch be? Like, where if we were to do that, where would it? Be? I've this I is free money. I went to one in Wyoming and I loved it. I've been on a ranch resort trip too. It's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm backing up Sam. Someone else who's That's right. I mean, I respect Cam. Sam's opinion. If she says fun, then Wham. I'm for it. Nah, but I'm anti-ranch. I'll go anywhere there's free food. See? That's I'll say I'm, I'm I knew I needed to defend the ranch. I, I'm anti-ranch. I'm pro-ranch. I'll do okay, ranch. Y'all really want to do a ranch? We could we could do got a blank check. I'm kind of going for the fucking... ranch. Have you guys been to the really? Bahamas? Because okay. I also Ooh. never been to the Bahamas. I have a really great resort wreck there okay. and it's where the housewives stayed okay you pass that and it's a blast i'm down okay. for that Add bahamas that. would be fun it's so much fun um i want to go anywhere there's free food that's all I'm... i got you cam don't hey. worry i'm gonna keep your ass fed <laughs> yum i want to go where they have taco bell and chick-fil-a that's everywhere <laughs> they do not have that in the bahamas oh so Sorry. that's that's oh. a no-go that's a veto yeah, yeah that's no, yeah, we'll bring some on the plane oh well anyway we can we can have this discussion but <clears throat> Thanks to BBTV, we're gonna go just crazy on a crew vacation. All out. It's gonna be awesome. So thank you, BBTV. You've returned the money. You've done the right thing. Thank you, thank you. BBTV, they're financially stable. Their stock went up like 15 cents a day. Let's go. Hey! Okay, let's go. It's BBTV. Okay, let's go. 620. Hey, let's do this thing. Okay. Yeah, we did. We wanted to do a um, kind of a parody of the last thumbnail where it was like straight warfare, and then here it's like uh, kawaii, rainbow puke, and. Uh, you know, she's a saint, basically. But there it is. Um, so cool. Okay, I'm very excited about our prospective trip now. Awesome. <laughs> but uh, actually, so, uh, okay, well, that could be us, I guess. That doesn't look that fun, but I don't Maybe all the fun stuff is, like, behind the camera. We'll go yak off, dude. Just behind the camera. There's all kinds of fun activities. I probably ate that yak. Mm. <laughs> sent me sent me that yak in a bag of plastic. Well, anyway, um, we should probably thank our sponsors, and then I want to talk about so much stuff. We can talk about the Creator Clash, which is happening this weekend. AB is going to demolish. <laughs> We're going to put Dad in a convalescent home, right, AB? Yeah. We're going to put his ass in hospice care. That's right. And the life treatment. A, B, 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 A, B,
Uh, members, we're going to be having a members only live stream on Saturday. It's going to be so much fun. We did it last time. It was a blast. We'll do that again. But okay, let me thank the sponsors and we'll get into all kinds of a uh, great show we've got planned here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Express VP and, 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 and. Let me ask you something. What if there was someone out there who kept the log of every single thing you did every minute of the day? That reminds me, I went to Skype. Everyone was trying to give me instructions on how to uh, get my Skype records. And I actually, I went on the Skype website. I requested my Skype logs with my old user. I thought it was, and they're like, okay, come back in a day. We need to approve it. I downloaded it. There was like nothing there. I was so disappointed. It was like just random. Nope. It was random. It wasn't good at all. Yeah, but what if there was somebody? I wish there was somebody out there, apparently. Then I'd have the conversations I'm looking for. No, but we don't like that. Not on this copyright. We don't like that. What if there was someone out there who kept the log of every single thing, everything, every single thing you did, every minute of the day? I think that would be creepy. Right. But I did ask Skype. I was like, do you have every single thing I've done on the internet that you can send me? It's creepy, though. Yeah, well, if, what if I told you that's exactly what happens every time you go online? That's true. The internet provider is the real uh, enemy. The internet provider is allowed to store logs of every website you've ever visited and can legally sell this data to anyone. That's why I always use ExpressVPN and and... I don't want anybody to know what I do on the internet. It's that crazy. <laughs> now we, come on, we all want privacy. We all, the, the fear is like, what, what if Russia gets that and they're going to blackmail you? Yep. China, blackmail? No. Nah. You keep your data safe and sound. ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure server so internet providers can't see or log what you do online. Now, many of you might be wondering, well, what if routing all of my data through a VPN then doesn't just mean the VPN can see it and what I'm doing and log my data instead? Well, you're right to ask that. Many VPNs claim to have a no-log policy, but they've been caught logging customer activity. Uh-uh. ExpressVPN is the only VPN that I trust because they use trusted server technology to make sure that data is wiped. Like a crime scene, like a Dexter. You don't even have to think about it, dude. They put up the tarps, the bleach, There's no evidence <laughs> of any crime. <laughs> uh, they were the first major VPN provider to engineer all of their VPN servers to run in RAM. This makes it impossible for the VPN service to store any data, including logs of any ExpressVPN customers. So it's impossible. And you don't have to just take uh, my or ExpressVPN's word for it. ExpressVPN is so confident in their no-log claims. They even had one of the biggest assurance firms, Price Waterhouse Cooper, audit their technology. You know about Price Waterhouse Coopers? Well, they're the best. <laughs> That's like a... That's like a big ass. That's like one word too. They uh, hand out the Oscar envelope, I think. They're legit. They're like a security firm. They like run. They're like really big deal. That's why ExpressVPN is rated number one by CNET, Wired, Tech Radar, and countless others. So stop letting people keep logs of what you do online. Visit expressvpn.com/h3 right now and find out how you can get three months free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash H3. ExpressVPN dot com slash H3 to learn more. You know, besides the privacy, I love it because the, you can connect in other countries and get, like, their whole media catalog. Like, my favorite example is Japan. If you do Netflix Japan, you get, like, all kinds of amazing content and anime and stuff. It's like you were there. <laughs> Just like you were there. It's almost to, like you were there, dude. Signing up tonight. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thank you to our sponsor. Please support them because uh, we love them and they support us. So thank you, ExpressVPN.
And finally, Stamps.com. We love Stamps.com. Boy, love do I love me some Stamps.com. Um, I love you, Stamps. <laughs> you know... You know, I love me some stamps. The post office is a place I've spent a lot of time in my career sending out stuff. It's such a time sink, it's unbelievable. And stamps.com is revolutionizing how we interact with the post office. It's better in every way. Um, you know, every moment, every person, every dollar is going to be enhanced by using this service. They got 25 years in the business. Save you time and money. So you, you don't could, even have to think about it, dude. Exactly. Here's the best part. They got fat discounts, dude, that you can't get anywhere else. It's way cheaper to use stamps.com than just go to the post office. They get, like, up to 86% off. Wow. Because dude. they negotiate, because they have so much business. They can negotiate. Or up to here, it is 84% off you... SPS and UPS rates. You know? It's so easy to use. All you need is a computer and a printer. They send you a free scale so you can weigh it. You print the postage on your computer. You put it on the package. And here, you can drop it off in a drop box. Or, you can even leave it on your front door to be picked up. You don't have to leave the house at all. Oh, monsieur. Oh, monsieur is right. Stamps.com has been in the business 25 years, and they've been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. I mean, come on. It's a no-brainer. If you have a small business, or if you just mail a lot of stuff, you're really going to be doing yourself a favor here. Set your bu business up for success when you get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code H3 for a special offer that includes four-week trial, plus free postage, and... A free digital scale. There's no long-term commitment or contracts. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code H3. Thank you, thank you to our beloved sponsors. And Stamps, we love Stamps. We love you. Um, I want to thank some people who have been going kind of hard uh kaylin lester thank you for the dono for ab good luck this weekend oh that reminds me somebody donated a hundred dollars for a recent get oh it was for garrett fishing garrett did we send that to him wait was it for him no or someone and, else? and it's all it's all been it's it's who, who was it for it was for terry oh terry mm -hmm. we sent it to him or we will we will yes. okay the information is where it needs to be. Good, right? good, 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 good. Sorry, I walked away for a sec. Thank you so That's much. what I'm saying. Appreciate These people, they, don't, they donate, and it just caught, it's just like a tornado in my life. I'm trying to get this money to people. It's not easy. Money. What, what'd you say, AB? Money. I, I walked away for a sec. I was just saying thank you. That's 50 that for you, bud. Thank you. Nina says Gatsby for the entire crew. We can afford it. BB Mo Money. Today gave a hundred gift at BB Mo Money. Thank you for a great, great benefactor. Three hundred. It's three hundred. Three hundred. See, I didn't even scroll down yet, bro. Where? Who is this guy? Three hundred DPI. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You owe them like three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you know, it's so nice, especially now with these big donations. BB Mo Money. Thank you so much because. That means that we're going to have more people joining us this Saturday for our awesome viewing party. Jess Z, thank you for the donation. I'll be at Creator Clash. So excited to see AB fight. Congrats on getting the bag back, Ethan. Thank you so much. Check out Star Wars Hotel at Disney World. That I'm down with. And improvisation. You guys want to go to Star Wars? Oh, i seen it. It's like... All the rooms are crazy themed. It looks a little... Isn't it supposed to be that it's on like a spaceship? It's like a... Dude! It's like a star liner. Oh, yeah, everything is like fully on theme. The rooms, everything. That's cool. You should pull up pictures. I think it's like insanely expensive because the demand is so high, but I don't give a shit. So I think it's they like have like one of those catinas too? 
where like the bars where they sing did, 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 did. that's at the that's Pretty at the awesome. park itself yeah probably you, like the be... only place you can get booze Dude. at disneyland is at the uh actual uh star wars bar that's sick yeah disney world and gatsby's uh spro kept bro cat says there's lots of uh i love how it's all it's like no it's just a hostel with <laughs> like y'all really want me to sleep in that pod <laughs> they're like luxurious living <laughs> I bet the Empire rooms are nicer. So wait, is this open? <laughs> How much is it for a room? Because I heard it was like ten thousand a night, and I'll pay that. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. From everywhere in my room. If that check clears, I'm good, man. May I uh, throw out a, a trip suggestion? Uh, Go ahead. What about a cruise? I know we've talked about it before on the show. Are you trying to get us killed? What cruises? There's are... still COVID death. I traps. know Ian will back me up on this one. I won't back you up on this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> oh, wow, dude, oh, what, wow. what about our conversation? Wait, Weren't Zach, you you're the only one with positive cruise experience. No, no, you no, lost wait, your wait, virginity wait, on wait, a cruise. Wait, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out. You backed me up, didn't you? I'm off of the cruise. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, Zach Sold lost out. his virginity on a cruise, and uh, dude, cruising is America's pastime. Mm -hmm. Fuck baseball. That can't it's be cruising. <laughs> Don't you? Does, isn't it a little weird that you like can't escape? No, you can't escape. Well, I, but you're looking at water. It's gorgeous. You dock places. We could do one in Mexico or the Caribbean. Like it's a good time. Again, but we only have three days max. So, so it's just a weekend trip. Long weekend trip. Long weekend trip. Yeah, we can do it in three days. Yeah, I don't think I don't I don't think you have one supporter on that idea. It's all right. I'm just standing by myself. If Again, Zach, if there's free food, I'm I'm with you. All right, I got Cam in. He's in. Any Cam's like any way the f scent of the food blows. I'll be there. It's a fine with me. Thank you, Cece, for the gifted. Appreciate that so much. So wait, there's actually like a there's like a hologram or some kind of display here. Yeah. Interesting. Is this for little kids? It is for sure yeah. i mean look at this it doesn't look that nice at all Not i mean bad. it's cool it looks cool i can photoshop myself in this kind of space i don't need to <laughs> walk around this is like a 5k trip five. Yeah, the thing is what do you mean 5k like trip for two days it's 5k for a family five thousand that's not that much <laughs> or, i mean for wait well, I mean, it's a lot, but not. I it seems like it's more than just a, a hotel, though. It's like you're you're buying a whole like two day experience, yeah, thing. It, so, like, if you wanted to go to like the rest of Disney World or whatever, I don't. Oh, think here. this is the way to do it. Yeah, I'm not trying to like. Here, let's see. Um, Star Wars Galactic Cruiser. What does it include? Two guests per cabin. I sent a link that has what's included. So it's twelve hundred for two, or one room. Okay. Per guest. Per guest. So you pay. So you pay twenty four hundred. Four thousand eight hundred and nine. Oh, two guests per cabin. Per guest. How are you going to charge per, per guest? It's one room. Yeah, per Does night. Seem a little schemey. They're like, yeah. How many people are you stuffing in there? That's gonna. <laughs> Come on, everybody in here. I mean, maybe there's like a food included or, you know, some type of uh, amenities like that. I think, it, again, I think it's, it's like a whole experiential yeah. thing. Like uh -huh. Here, I've got the details here. It says, um, packages include entry to Disney Hollywood Studios. What is that? For one day. That's a park. The admission ticket expires at midnight. I love that. Get the fuck out. Midnight. Non-upgradable. Non-transferable. Package includes two breakfasts, two lunch, two dinner meals. See, that that mean you got to eat I'm with there. the Star Wars people? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to eat with the Star Wars people. Yeah, drink like blue milk. Quick service meal consists of one entree, one non-alcoholic beverage. Or, if you're over 21, you can get an alcoholic beverage. Oh. Why would I want to commit to this? Let me just go buy what I want. 21! Because you're a big old Star Wars nerd, I guess? Seems like this is like a super fan experience, you know? But can you just stay in the room without the whole hubbub? No. It doesn't seem like it. No. That's what I'm saying. I don't think this is the way to go. Well, there's such nice hotels there. They have like uh, Four Seasons. Yeah. And they don't have like bunk beds, so. 
And we can get, they always have, <laughs> right, exactly, hostile style, <laughs> Japanese style pods. <laughs> um, they also have like super bougie, like, restaurants there that we can get reservations for. That's what sounded pretty good to me. Thank you, BBTV. Should we legit just wear BBTV shirts? That'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, they're sponsoring the trip in a way. That'd be just so funny. <laughs> Pictures of her face. <laughs> okay, cabin amenities include mini refrigerator, a hair dryer, you guys. Wow. Really? Yeah, kind of, there's really? a hair dryer that's in there. It's not an upcharge? Is it shaped like Do a lightsaber? Have... Look out. I'll that's be honest, huge. that's old tech. Right. I feel like in the Star Wars universe, they, they have something better. It's just done. Yeah. In cabin safe. I phone with voicemail with voicemail messaging. No way. No way. You can take no Nancy's way. calls. That's what it says here. No way. No way. Dude. Interactive TV. What? Interactive. Wow. Yo, they have a yo. They have a bath and shower. <laughs> Are there sheets on the bed? It doesn't say. Pillows? It doesn't say. The interactive TV is those. just Mario Lopez talking to you about what you could order. Like dude, other why is he on every- you're, <laughs> Dude, I can't see him anymore. <laughs> How did he pivot to just being the guy on the hotel TV? I don't know. That is Fucking wild. Fucking Mario Lopez, get out of my life. <laughs> and it's always on. You walk into the whole room, yeah. the, the hotel room, it's on already. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mario Lopez. Welcome to the Hilton. Extra. If it's Star Wars, you'd think it'd be a hologram of him. He is so perfect. He glows. He does look amazing. It's How old is he? He's a, he's like old. Dude, he looks amazing. He's immortal. Uh, he, he's 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 on that adrenaline. Forty nine for sure. Oh, he's forty nine. He goes so to my gym. Cool. Okay, not that old. He's I not he that old, old, but like he looks so good. How do I look this good at fifty? Glamorous, stunning, without even trying. It's crazy. Well, hold on. Let's get a closer look. Closer look at Mario here. Look at that smile. The guy's got such a. Oh, he's still. Oh, he's still keeping fit. He's so cool. He's doing like karate and shit. <laughs> karate. He's, he's got doing that karate. He's got karate body. classes. <laughs> he's got that karate. <laughs> body. I love that you refer to everything as karate. <laughs> this man wrote a fitness book. Did you know that? Mario. Well, I'd... Mario Lopez knockout fit. Seems to know what he's talking about. Mario Lopez Hotel TV. <laughs> Let's see what comes up. Hi, must go movies. This is it. Must see movies. Extra. I I mean, in a way, he it's kind of impressive he found a niche for himself. Because, I mean, pivoting from Saved by the Bell, not the easiest. In fact, if you look at all the cast of Saved by the Bell... He's the only one that still has a career. Rip to Screech, dude. Screech is fucking Screech, bro. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he did, he did He's fucking live. dead. What's his name? Dustin Diamond. <laughs> he fucking died. Rip to so the nice. go, dude. <laughs> well, Mario Lopez did like X Factor and Dancing with the Stars for a while, and then he pivoted to this uh, hotel room. To being a hotel room <laughs> guy, the gas station pump guy. <laughs> yeah. What's his net worth? I wonder, because he's uh, he's pretty What's game. His net worth? How tall is he? <laughs> oh, I'll look that next. Mario Lopez. Hi, I'll look at first. Right. Dude, he's 5'10? 35 million. He's 5'10? He's 5'10? He's shorter than I am. No way. No shot. By three and no a way. fourth. No way. Well, by three fourths quarter of an inch. He's perfect. He's perfect for you. Is he a perfect? Is he unproblematic? Perfect. I feel like I remember him uh -oh. having a scandal. No, no, that's he... all I know is that he glows. That's literally all I know about Mario. Okay, Lopez. according to this, he's worth thirty-five milli. So he's perfect. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Don't be, don't Four. be discounting our boy Mario. I think every time you order a movie in a hotel, he gets a kickback of that. He has. Uh... <laughs> That'd be <laughs> funny. Here's the crew. Let's see. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Whatever happened to the main oh, guy? Oh, dude. Listen to this. Mario Lopez receives uh, backlash for transphobic comments <gasps> on the Candace Owens show. Candace Owens show? That's what I'm reading. Mario. No, we're loving I take it all back. him. You love him. Mario, I take it you all said he's back. perfect. I take it literally all back. 
Dude, it it's is. so on this show, Real. anybody can catch strays, man. We started talking about Disneyland. <laughs> Amy mentioned Mario Lopez, and now he's canceled. And Let's now just my stay world home. is over. Dude, not only stay home. Here, it's even worse. It's even worse. I just found it. Stop. Send me the details. I want everything. Here, I'm pulling it up. We're coming. Okay, the fact that he even went on Prager the, you. Oh my god, somebody somebody stop me. <laughs> What's your argument? I got none. The fact that he went on Candace Owens on Prager U means just on face that this guy is like brain dead MAGA swamp. I'll land. find someone else. He's Adult just, incest. Listen, he's just there to talk about the importance of family, faith, and hard work. Oh no, not faith. Yep. Look, I, there's, I think there's nothing wrong with faith. Great. <laughs> but when you put it in like your description of who you are, like family f and faith, then I'm like, mm, that means you hate gay people. Mm -hmm. I know what that means. Let's Sorry, watch Mario. this. Sorry, Mr. Lope. I'm, di I'm dying to watch Sorry. it. You got the clip? Oh, I mean, it's a 40 minute thing. Uh, Amazing. Oh, wait, we have a, someone co signing for uh, Mario Lopez. Oh, we do? Cared for Dustin Diamond a lot, still kept in contact with him, unlike the others. According to Reyes, who is a Mario Lopez historian, that he he, unlike the other, stayed in touch with Dustin. I see. Is that and why is is that admirable? Like I don't know. I, I don't know anything. Apparently, about Dustin. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about nothing. Maybe Justin's a dick. I I'd never watched Saved by the Bell, even though that was of my generation. Uh, never got into that one. Dustin had a huge dong, massive dong. He oh, he had like a sex tape, didn't he? Yeah. Monster dong. I don't believe Wait, he had him. I feel like you put you give no, that no, title no, out too. No, no, easily. no. The, this guy send me the picture dong. privately. I'll be the judge. Okay. He cheated on Let's add that laundry. To, uh, how tall is he? What's his net worth? How big is his dong? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shanna said, "Wait, no, sorry, Shanna. I'll, I'll get to yours." Uh, PFP, Ach you guys, you guys are making this so hard for me to read your names. PFP Achicio. <laughs> Says he cheated on Ali Laundry at the bachelor party and the wedding oh, was canceled. Did no. he really do that? No. Family and faith, Mario. Mario, what can you not doing? find? It? Can you not find that, dude? Somehow this just turned into skewering Mario Lopez's <laughs> life. <laughs> Charzad's at home, like, hey, at least they ain't talking about me. Oh, people saying it was a stand-in, Zach. You got got. No, it's his dog. He said it, he admitted it was a stand-in. That's. How do you do a stand-in in a sex That's tape? even cooler. That's worse. To try and show yeah. people that his dick was big, so he had a stand-in? I still- I don't believe it. That's amazing. I mean, I'm just going off the Very stand, Mario right? Lopez behavior. I don't think Screech would do that. Screech wouldn't do that. Screech would not do that. Um, I have, uh, uh, News Noob Sandwich says, I apologize on Hawaii's behalf. Next time I suggest Disney Resort for you and the crew. You know those- Why are you apologizing? You know those Disney people don't mess around, and Teddy and Bruce will love it. Can I bring the kids? It would be cool to, I mean, I guess, maybe if we're you going. You know better than us, yeah. I, I mean, obviously they'd have fun, but. They would love it, but if it's like a team building thing, it would be, it would just be all about the kids. For me and Eli, anyway. Um, they're saying he cheated on his fiance at a, with a stripper on his bachelor party. That's crazy. Do you still want to see this dong, Ethan? Yes, yeah, send that okay. over. It's a stand-in. Nah. It's not even legit. So I guess now we know why he's on hotel TV. Oh, so. guys, listen to this. Nick Clark says, if you do go to Epcot, is that a Disney? Yeah, yeah. It's, part of, it's part of Disney World. They say, if you go to Epcot, you got to drink around the countries. It's like their own bar crawl challenge thing. Are yeah. we loving that? I, I, Dude, I think, we, I think Disney, Disney, Disney World's World sounding thing? fun. CC, thank you so much for the gift. We love CC. I just uh, sent it to you on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp? <laughs> but private. Private. <laughs> private. You, I was like, you didn't make everyone. No, look I, at no, this? no, I didn't okay, say Okay, it. let's take a look here. Okay. Wait, whose dong is it? Is it Dustin Diamond? Dustin Diamond. Yeah. So oh, okay. it's a picture of. He's got the um, candy necklace around his dick, <laughs> and they're eating it off. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty nice sized one. I'll admit that. It. Yeah. Save but it's Bell. not his. Yeah, uh, Saved by the Bell, Screech confesses to sex tape stunt penis. Dude. My life is a lie. Yeah. 
There's an article from 2014 about mm. this. So it was a stunt wang in his a own stunt words. Wang. <laughs> That's yeah. an interesting. Okay. Mm. How did uh, he die? Like overdose or something? He had cancer, I think. Oh, that's just sad. Yeah. I'm sorry. He died of cancer? That's horrible. Yeah. I'm going to delete this picture from our chat. Even. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> please erase that. Anyway, Marlo Lopez is apparently the worst man ever, and now uh, he's canceled. Can you find the can you find the timestamp, though, of him talking shit on trans people? Uh, Yeah, I could try. Let's see. I've been looking. It's just... It's hard to find. The most boring conversation ever. Let's... Well, there it is. Mario Lopez, everybody. Here's Mario Lopez uh, being baptized. In the Jordan River. Did he, so I guess he found faith <laughs> after he cheated on his uh, fiance with a stripper. Right. Is that a good time to find faith? Spiritual moment, he said. Maybe this is why he's glowing, is the Jesus water. Well, get, let me get baptized in the Jordan River. I need to glow <laughs> like that. <laughs> You are gay? <laughs> hey. Come on. Know. They're being baptized. Show some respect. Amazing. Uh, Jordan River, and uh, he wanted me to be baptized. I think it's funny how they stand in the water fully clothed. I don't know why. I know y'all got I know y'all got your own methods and shit, and God bless you for that. The only thing you're missing is like a baseball cap. <laughs> a wet baseball cap. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Mario, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. Do you I mean, believe that he's the son of God? Yes, I do. do these are easy questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this ain't no Mensa IQ test. I thought there'd be like a quiz or something. <laughs> and to serve him all your life? Yes, I do. I mean, yes, according I to your testimony, to baptize I've you. never seen a baptism before. I've okay. never, I, this is, Here we are. This is shocking and interesting, fascinating to me. Let's be respectful. Let's watch. Mm-hmm. Are they wearing pants or swim trunks? Probably swim trunks under the robes. <laughs> I don't matter. You think that old man is wearing swim trunks? They gotta be in suit ball? pants. They gotta be in yeah. suit pants. They look ridiculous. Yeah, I don't I mean, think they're, they're wearing like, anything underneath. Yeah, it's either that or they're free balling. I right. think he's going free. I think so. Too. I think so too. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that white clothing, where, though. Where is this? It's, it's beautiful. Be it's the Jordan there. River. That's where Jesus... I know. But where? Where? Oh, uh, like where is this? It looks gorgeous there. Love that. In, you want to uh, go? I do want to go get baptized there. Let's do it. Do you accept Jesus? Yes. Is Jesus your savior? Yes. Is Jesus the Son of God? Yes. Do you promise to serve Jesus for your whole life? Yes. It's not really. Oh, it's in Israel? Yeah, That's in Israel? I think it was technically Nazareth. That's where Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. Oh, man. That's gorgeous. I've never been. That looks so nice. I didn't know Israel had like nice places like that. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Oh, he's wearing pants. Good time to be fit with that little see-through, okay. I'm not gay no more. <laughs> He's got pants. <laughs> you did it. Such a shame that he sucks. Because he looks stunning. I, and the minute, the minute I got dunked in that water, I felt it through my bones. I hate trans people. I knew some a whisper a voice in that water whispered through my ears. I were you gay <laughs> through my whole being. It said, I hate trans people. I must think and talk about trans people every minute of every day. That's what it said to me, Lord help me. So it's kind of a cool little outfit. Sexy, kind of, with the wind's wet. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful people here. Helping me. It's true, beautiful thank people you. are there. What? This he seems awesome. so. I'm sorry, but he seems so fucking fake. <laughs> like, I what feel the like fuck I'm watching. Yeah, that wow, man is beautiful made of people plastic. out here. Wow. <laughs> Great ceremony. Wow. 
Like, I that's not somebody who just had, like, a fucking spiritual experience. What? Please, guys. Uh, if, and, and next time you're in a hotel room, don't forget access <laughs> to fantastic <laughs> like, movies playing. This is so, like, politician-like, the way that he did all that. Oh, shit. You know, when I was a kid, they had, I guess, it was probably some kind of scam bordering on scam. They would send out, like, fly mass flyers to tons of families and be like, uh, Hey, uh, come get headshots of your kid, and we'll help pitch them to movie producers. It's some stupid shit, right? And we, my parents wanted to take me and my brother there. <laughs> so we did this whole thing where we go and get our photo. It was, uh, dude, it's so embarrassing that we went to that thinking back. I was just a kid. It's their fault, not mine. There's just a ton of families, and everyone's in there. They get the photo. You pay money, and then... And then at the end of the line, Mario Lopez was there shaking your hand. So you get to meet, as part of this package deal, you got to meet Mario Lopez. <laughs> what a deal. And I met Lario, Mario Lopez and I shake, shook that man's hand. Do you think he's still doing those events? I, uh, no. That, that, was, that was desperate times for him. I'd go. That was desperate, desperate times for him, man. Pre-hotel TV. That's right. That's right. <laughs> wow. Just got baptized in Jordan River. Can I say that, AB? Yeah, he posts about it. So he goes to your gym, your mm -hmm. boxing gym. Have you ever mm -hmm. seen him there? No, I. He was downstairs once, I think, when I was there, but I haven't actually seen him. Is downstairs like the VIP? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Actually, over like, the weekend was the first time I actually went in there. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It's for like professional fighters. Professional, who are yeah. Mm hmm. But they gave me a, a free jacket yesterday. They said uh, since I'm I'm technically one of their Professional fighters. I don't know if they got that a little mixed up. But I was like, sure, I'll take it. You're probably one of their most famous fighters. They have some big people in there, big celebrities come in there. Actually. Well, you are a you are a famous fighter. I mean, you get you're in a big event. Yeah, fighting in a big event. You know. Hallelujah! Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. So there's just a bunch of Israelis. I guess it's a mix. Nazareth's a weird town, man. I went there one time, and, like, there's just, like, it's like a cult there, man. Like, the Christians there. There's not a lot of Christians in Israel, but they're all there in Nazareth, and they're all trying to sell you, like, candles and crosses, and, like, they're all so into it, man. Because, you know, the craziest people from around the world, they'll move to Nazareth. Because mm -hmm. they just want to feel the presence of Jesus, Lord. Yes. That was awesome. That was so cool. And I was so fortunate to meet these um, very nice people from Romania. And uh, Father, are they sing the song for me and everything? Father uh, Tota, I believe his name, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, baptized me along with the other father. I don't know his name. I was very, um, that was moving. That was cool. Someone going to hand him a towel? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit I'm looking for a full service baptism okay I need a towel I need some slippers a space heater please when it comes out I'd like to soak my feet before have some tea ready for me by the river high service okay Mario Lopez so this person says Mario Lopez is my landlord <laughs> Live in the valley and he owns my building. Terrible landlord, <laughs> if you can imagine. What a shock. Well, most are, to be fair. Yep. Most are. Mario Lopez is your landlord. So here I got the timestamp of him apparently on Candace Owens' show talking about uh, trans people. You know what's funny? It's like, I just, it's like, bro, you're the, you're the Saved by the Bell guy. You do a bunch of fucking announcing, whatever. Trans people, you got, they got nothing to do with you. Like, why are you coming and talking shit? They, you got nothing to do with them, bro. I mean, why don't you just go on and be like, yeah, so, uh, people from, I just want to say this, uh, you know, people from Nebraska, I fucking hate them. Like, what did they do? What did people from Nebraska got to do? You ever been to Nebraska? No. You ever met a Nebraskan person? Uh-uh. 
Nope. Blown away too. And um, look, I'm never one to tell anyone how to parent their kids, obviously. And I think if you come from Maybe a place. you should though, because you yeah. seem to be doing something. <laughs> of course, Candace goes. Listen, I'm not someone to tell them how to live their lives. You should be. <laughs> She's so vile. I mean, she her blood is black. I have a theory that she she's just a demon. I think if 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 she were to cut herself, flame would spit out of it. She doesn't bleed like the rest of us. Something right. Oh, thanks. You know, and I always say, if you come from a place of love, you you know, you you really can't go wrong. But at the same time, my God, if you're three years old and you're saying you're feeling a certain way, or you're, 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 you think you're a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be, I, I, I just think it's dangerous as a parent to make that determination then, okay, well, then you're going to be... Nobody's doing that. Can y'all just shut the fuck up? About, it's like nobody's doing that. You know? Three? Three-year-olds? My son, my son is almost four. He doesn't, he doesn't even know what gender is. Three-year-olds? A boy or a girl, whatever the case may be, and it's it's sort of alarming. And my it's not gosh, I just think about the repercussions later on. Right. And, and uh, to me, I just see depression because I, when I was uh, in fifth grade, I don't know, it was this weird thing in fifth grade where me and my girlfriend Molly, like we just we were tomboys. We just were like we're tomboys now, so we'd wear like yeah. That's not what being trans is. They're just <laughs> tomboys. Just let them play soccer. They'll be fine. So anyway, okay, I guess that was it, or do they go on? These people are so annoying. It's pretty much more of that. They're so annoying. It's like a 40-minute thing. It's mm -hmm. Oh, he goes on and on. Well, That's why not about that. I'm just saying the interview is like 40 minutes long. But... He apologized, apparently. He said, the comments I made were ignorant and insensitive. And now I have a deeper understanding of how hurtful they were. Okay. He wrote to the Huffington Post, I have been and always will be an ardent supporter of the LGBT community. And I'm going to use this opportunity to better myself and educate myself. Moving forward, I will be more informed and thoughtful, he said. I mean, the mistake he made was sitting across a demon because she's, she's going to make everything, all of his uh, opinions sound way crazier. He was about to be demoted to Motel TV. Oh, no. He's actually there too, Cam. Really? I, wait, when I couldn't <laughs> find a, uh, a hotel for TwitchCon... I had to stay at a motel, and he was there. He was on the motel? He actually, Remember what motel it was? It was a Motel 6, and it was fucking scary. Yeah, But yeah, he made yo. me feel a little bit more comfortable, I'm not going to lie. Be like, oh, Mario, you're here? <laughs> oh, Mario. Okay. He's got a warm face. Okay. Yeah, okay. A familiar <laughs> face. Yeah. That was a scary room. I kept apologizing to Lena. I was like, I thought we were out of this phase of our lives. I'm so sorry. It's so scary there. How mm -hmm. much was it a night? It was super expensive, too. Lena, do you remember how much oh, it was? Oh, no. No, I don't. It was pricey though because it was like last minute and everywhere else was booked. Yeah. Are we talking like 200 a night, 300 a night? I think it was over 300. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Whoa. We had another room and we got there and they're like, oh, we don't have any rooms. Yo, did they pay you back? Mm, yeah, yeah, they reimbursed me. Yeah. But did they like compensate you for screwing you over? No. Stupid. Yeah. Dumbasses. Idiots. All right, well, we've made it basically half a percent through our document. Maybe less, frankly. Maybe less. Um, well, shout out Mario Lopez. He's saved. He's risen. So cool. <laughs> Dude, Dan, you're cracking me up on that Easter. He's up. <laughs> He's up. He's up. He's up. He's up. Everybody will log. It's almost like, Dad's home. <laughs> Everybody, turn off the TV and Scram. <laughs> yeah, I showed this on uh, the members stream yesterday, but I do want to show this to everybody because if I saw it, you have to also. Is you guys sure this is safe to show? This is so wild. Mm -hmm. I know he's yes. wearing pants. He is wearing pants. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to say Cam and I have memed this into existence. Yeah, we've um, been joking about this for a while. We always like said, Eddie, what are you doing here with your dick out? <laughs> 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 now, that's a good question. Yeah. We we always just make up different scenarios. <laughs> Eddie, what are you doing in Walmart with your yeah, dick out? Exactly. <laughs> and now it's unfortunately true. No, okay, so he is wearing he is wearing underwear. He said in the comments that he is wearing shorts. You can see it. Yeah. You yeah. can see he's wearing he's wearing shorts. But his fupa is 
doing a doing a lot of work. It's covering. It's consumed his pants. <laughs> I can say that. I know what that's like. Yeah. And it looks like he's butt ass naked. <laughs> I'm hesitating to show it. I, I don't want this to jeopardize, but it's so good. I feel like I have to. Uh, I don't know. You could you could tweet it <laughs> and direct people there or something. Can you put an overlay saying he is wearing pants? Because so the YouTube raiders they'll be like he's wearing pants, <laughs> just so they know. They're gonna click it and they'll be like he's wearing pants. Because that's fine if he's wearing pants. There's nothing wrong with that. There is something wrong with this. But if he's you know what I mean? Can you do that, Ian? Uh, I'm making something right now. Yeah, we could just get that on. Dear YouTube, he's wearing pants. Eddie, what are you doing here with your dick out? Well, I just love having my dick out because I'm Eddie. <laughs> nah, it's a beautiful day. I just love having my dick out. <laughs> you know, Alan Dershowitz is a nudist. I'm Eddie. My, his dick's out. My dick's out, too. We love Eddie, of course, but this definitely shocked the hell out of me. <laughs> This is fucking crazy. I, I mean, it's, Love it. it's still up on TikTok. They never removed it, so it can't be that bad. It's a yeah, if TikTok didn't remove it. They don't remove anything. He had right. an, another banger um, when he was in Walmart. Uh, he meets these two people, and it, it was the most uh, havoc-inducing uh, TikTok he's made. I feel like we got to show that one. The his. Are you talking about the like craziest uh, people he's found in Walmart? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, pull that one up too. We'll watch it next. So here's a little uh, shirtless Eddie update. He's a uh, pantless Eddie now. For better or worse. And he is wearing pants. I want that emphasized. In fact, you can see it. Oh, here, I'm pulling it up. Here it comes. Here's Eddie's. And we're going to have to mute it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's slip syncing to something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this scared me. I'm not gonna lie. It scared me. It's something about the uh, filter. Would you oh, fuck just... me? I'd fuck me. Like it's <laughs> Buffalo Bill. But he he is ah, wearing dude. he is wearing pants. So I'll just play it for you. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the pants there. There it is. He's wearing like a uh, denim, some kind of like denim short. And the overlay is covering the. Yeah, the overlay was covering the most egregious uh, part of the frame. So. Huh. The the overlay it was covering the part that probably would have got us demonetized. Oh, good. Anyways. Yeah. So I think he is awesome. wearing pants. Yes. But now, what if they think he's not wearing pants because it's covered? He is wearing pants. I promise. Told you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's what Eddie's up been up to, and we love that for him. He's out there. Uh, I don't really know how to what to think about that. <laughs> to be to be uh, totally honest, um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's slightly upsetting. <laughs> it's yeah, it's slightly upsetting. I, I you know, not anything against Eddie, but uh, Buffalo Bill vibes. I prefer. I think I prefer shirtless Eddie to pantless. Shirt, Eddie. shirt with uh, with some shorts on. Yeah. Dick out Eddie. Dick out. <laughs> I gotta Eddie. say though, I don't, I he has he has lost a lot of weight. Yes, he has. Looking good. That's true. That's true. Mm, when you're right, you're right. Here's the other uh, Eddie video that was kind of worth watching. Here, he found it. Hey, found it some please. really interesting characters. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in Walmart with your shirt off? <laughs> Put your shirt back on. Hey, Eddie. Yo, so hey, this Eddie. guy scared the shit out of me. I legit, yeah. I, my brain went into like shock and confusion because his face looked like <laughs> some kind of AI generated or some kind of super filter. It was and, like ben Kingsley <laughs> with a filter on. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> Like, I, I swear to God, my brain panicked, and like, I almost Walmart? had a stroke or something from all- That looks like Vince- that person looks like Vince Neal from Motley Crue. Put oh, your shirt off, man. Put your shirt, hey, put your shirt on. on. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Like, his eyes are so wide open, and- And the drawn-on like eyebrow. <laughs> Although he's wearing a super hype hoodie. I think. And he's so soft-spoken to this guy. 
I think that's a Mira, <laughs> Mirakami hoodie. That if it's original, that's probably super expensive. Maybe he's rich. Eddie, put your shirt back on. What are you doing? In oh, hey, Eddie, <laughs> what are you doing? In Kmart. Kmart. <laughs> so Hey Eddie, what are you doing in Walmart with your shirt off? Put some clothes on. Oh, he's on. English. Same what are you doing with your shirt off, Eddie? <laughs> Eddie. Hey, don't help with your nips out. Don't help with your nips out. When you've got your nips, you want to flaunt them. Like Shirley said, don't help with your nips out. When you're in a Walmart, show off those nips. <laughs> Whoa. You go, Eddie. Thank you so much. I love you. Are you on uh, TikTok at all? <laughs> <or not? laughs> shirt is on the floor. He, I love how he shows him picking up his shirt. Thank you so much. I love you. Are you on uh, TikTok at all or no? Okay. Well, thank you so much. I can send it. Fantastic. <laughs> I love the emphasis on nipples. Uh, shirts out, nips out, shirts out. Get your nipples out. The emphasis on the nipple, I think, maybe is a little, also making me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like the shirt part, I. You know, I, I have some feedback for him. Eddie, what are you doing here with your nips and dick out? <laughs> <laughs> I love having my nipples out. <laughs> it's out, nips out. So yeah, Eddie's been busy. Uh, we wish him well, of course. He's out there. Shirtless as ever. Is this right? Nick Okado says he's changed his mind and wants to come back on the show? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's great news. So, so are we still on the Nikocado train? We've never left the Nikocado train. I don't think you ever left the Nikocado train. It was just a misunderstanding. Does that mean he like. forgives me for? Well, he basically here. Watch the clip. Okay. Okay. Big news. Big news. He was doing a Q and A. Okay. Cheers. Don't eat that. Oh, and I was don't eat that. Too. Please don't eat that. Wait, that looks good. Wait. That looks good. Before we watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> Pop like a great start. <laughs> I would like you to think carefully about whether you want an episode with, of Nikocado Avocado coming on the show to actually happen or not. I do. You, you do? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'd be fantastic. Now, take, now I take, would, that, take be, that thought. Yeah. Keep it right here. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. yeah, the, yeah. Really? Keep it mind, right at the front of, yeah, yeah, As yeah. we watch this video, because you could easily change that. Okay. And All right. have before. So I will update everybody on my status uh, as we move on. We'll check in periodically. Mm. Okay. I don't see that he could say anything that I wouldn't want him on the show. Like, I'm very pro. It doesn't have anything bottom. to do with what he says. No, what he says is a great. It has I something love to do clip. with what you say. Okay. All right. Let's this see. This is yeah. big news. <laughs> that <laughs> fucking <laughs> guy. Well, I went up to get the watermelon. Do people even want? I feel like it's such old, stale beef. It's not even beef. There's really no beef. It is what it is. But people still are asking me go on the H3 podcast. Yeah, I mean, yes, it would be great. It would be a great show. I feel like we would have a. Uh, I mean, I have so many questions for him as a person. He's fascinating. Mm hmm. I'm not, <laughs> are we going to do this whole fucking thing where I got to buy him a ticket and then he cancels and he gets a free ticket again? Because I'm not loving that idea. Maybe you got to pay for your own goddamn ticket this time, dude. We bought you a first ass, first class ticket we couldn't get a refund on. He offered to pay it back. He did? Oh, yeah. I forgot, he, I forgot. He said he wanted to. Oh, pay okay, back. okay, then we I very, forgot, I forgot, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So never mind. That That's 100%. So he was gracious in that then. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to make it all right, and we said, "Okay, okay, don't worry about it." Okay, okay, good. okay. That's my bad. I just forgot. I forgot. Why is Shredder dying of kidney disease and Nikocado is fine? <laughs> I mean, it's just not fair. <laughs> It's just not fair. We will never meet Nick Okado. I, it's just not fair, oh. man. <laughs> Do you guys actually care enough to... I mean, it's been like... This happened a year or two ago. Like, we're still talking about it. I got over it. I mean... Do you guys want me to? 
Yes. Tell them I mentioned them earlier in this video. So, like scroll back and tell them I said hi. And um, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know. Do they even want me? I think it's, oh, I think they don't like me. I don't think I'm well. Oh, you're, he's de most definitely welcome. And I most definitely do like him. He's any, any, office. any animus that was uh, perceived between us is honestly, it, it's nothing but love. I, I genuinely mean that. You know, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Welcome. And I, I, I changed my mind and I don't know, but people keep like, how many people are asking me on Twitter? Will you go on the podcast? Will you go on the podcast? Will you see Ethan Klein? When, it's, dang, people are so intense about it. <clears throat> people so, want it. I, I, I. I get it. It'd be really, yeah, uh, Olivia is one of those people. Literally the collab of the century, I think. I think it'd be the funniest thing ever. Half those Twitter accounts he's talking about are Olivia's alts. <laughs> I, for, I, left a mess, I left a question for oh. him. I said, how are you so skinny? <laughs> oh, I found out my brother is also a big fan of Nick. No way. Yeah. That way. Right? yeah. <laughs> okay. Love him. I mean, I'm just kidding, though. Like, I mean, I, he, I don't expect that he would be upset about the kidney joke, would he? I don't, I think in, in person, probably he wouldn't because he'd be here to reply to yeah. it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, look, I think it, look, getting uh, him in person would I haven't be, changed. I mean, yeah. I haven't changed in the three months since the last time I said the mean stuff about him that I won't repeat. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it was the fact that you two weren't speaking directly to each other. Yeah. I think that you guys in the same room, it'll do something very special. I, I agree. I, 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 but it's all love. It, I swear to God, it's all love. Nick, I will literally push your wheelchair if you want one. I will literally carry you up the stairs if you want me to. I'll do whatever to make sure you have a beautiful trip. Someone said this is the most sane I've seen him. Actually, I agree. He's being interestingly genuine here. What did you expect me to think? He's being really genuine right now. Me? Yeah. I was just... You misunderstand. I just know you, and every time you talk about Nick oh, Lovato, you say something that I him. see. I misunderstood what you're saying. You're saying don't say what like something about the yeah. kidney joke, so that he'll come right. on. Right. I see what you're. In doing. a way, I kind of blame Dan for that moment because he, if he wouldn't have said anything, I think you might have got through it. Hell, I, no. I, I took that kidding? the <laughs> exact opposite. <laughs> you tempted him. I thought you were saying no, be ready. I was saying because the whole first time fell apart because you kept making comments that upset him and then he bailed so i was trying to say if you want the guy on when you watch you the should video, have been more specific, more clear <laughs> well because i interpret that the exact <laughs> opposite way all right <laughs> i'm kidding by the i way, thought yeah. you were like he's really gonna piss you off in this one <laughs> what was it that i said anyways shout out to ethan klein shout out to nick Picado. <laughs> Jesus, man. The neighbors upstairs are playing trombone again. Trombone. And I know they're trying to get lessons, but would you calm it down? I love how he has talky, blue talkies all over his, his hand that he's scrolling on his phone with. Just the cherry on top. He's perfect. This is hell for me, <laughs> being forced to eat this meal. I think it looks so good, honestly. It's like know. Mexican street corn. Nah, Corn that's... dipped in demon juice with talky blue fucking demon poison. Well, maybe you guys will have to try it together. Yeah, they'll knock it till you try it. Yep. But yeah, it's all love. It's all love. Is that all what he had to say? I mean, yeah, let's reach yeah. out. Let, let's reach out again. I'll send right. him a message right now. I'm still interested. Uh, it is old beef, I agree. But the beef isn't what's interesting. I never thought it was that. I thought it would be our interview, genuinely. Let me message him. Or do you have his email, right, uh, Dan? I do. I feel like Olivia's the person to put on point. For Are me. you in contact with him? I'm not, but so, I can try to be. So I, I can, that. I can make an introductory email. It's happening. Yeah, CC. <laughs> uh, what, what was his and me, uh, and me. What was his name for you, Olivia? He, he Ashley. Had a name. Ashley. But he knows Should my name I, now. Should in the email be like, here's Ashley? You can say Ashley, a.k.a. Olivia. Yeah, right. But CC me. And Olivia, let's make this happen, Nick. All right. Hello, Olivia. Fun. Hello, Olivia. Exciting. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, previously we were debating Ryan Kavanaugh's Rotten Tomato average score, and it turns out that it was wrong, and I'm happy to say that 
a Thank fan you. and member of the subreddit actually <laughs> put the work in, crunched the numbers in Excel oh, wow. to get his average uh, Rotten Tomato you. score. They said, I made a spreadsheet detailing an average tomato meter score. All of Ryan Kavanaugh's movies. Something interesting I came across was that if you considered the average of these scores equivalent to American college classes, Cav Cav would only have only ever had three movies out of 73 whose average scores were above average. 49% of his movies also flopped at the box, box wow. office. That was the problem. Yeah, that's, that that's was definitely, that, a, that's definitely what, an issue. Yeah. So, Too Long Didn't Read, Ryan's Tomato movie average is 40 out of 100. Damn. For critics. Not good. Average score. That's critic score is 40. That is not good. Angry. Thank you for do, putting the work in there, friend. <laughs> Appreciate Thank that. Thank you. So let's see. There's a few uh, main stories I want to get to. We got the Ohio bus driver incident. Is Everyone seems pretty excited to talk about that. I did want to touch on the Chris from Mr. Beast coming out as non-binary. I want to voice my support for him and all the freaking the freaks who come out of the woodwork. Dalai Lama asking a boy to suck his tongue. That was crazy. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Kid Rock. Oh, no. <laughs> so let's let's just let's just get right into it. <laughs> <laughs> that took me no, a not like that, Kid Rock. <laughs> oh, Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. <laughs> suck on my tongue. And suck my tongue. Oh no, there's a sound drop. Oh no, and he said it in English. Play it again. And suck. My tongue. Bro. That sound drop. Oh my god. <sighs> That's a horrible. That's mm. fuck. Fuck. Play it one more time. And <laughs> suck my tongue. There's really no way to. Let's just talk about that since we're on it. Dalai Lama. Was the Dalai Lama controversial at all before, or was he just, like, universally loved? Uh, he, he's the leader of Tibet, right? The reincarnation of Buddha or something like that? Not quite. He, uh, he's the exiled leader of Tibet. Um, he uh, is in exile from the Chinese. Yeah, the Chinese want to kill Tibet. him. And he's been the Dalai Lama, I believe, since, like, the 30s. Um, was that right, Cam? Since he was born, uh, or hold on, let Dalai yeah, Lama. I think they. No, I think first. I think I think they he was chosen as an adolescent at like eight or nine years old or something like that. I don't he, think they do it from birth. Um, he's he's supposed to believe uh, to be the fourteenth reincarnation of a bodhisattva. Of yeah, and and he's seen by some people as you know a, a, there there's a whole free Tibet movement and he is seen as sort of the uh political and spiritual leader of that um there is a lot of controversy in some circles because of course um you know it's all highly political stuff and he's very outspoken i, I would say in the in the west in america in particular uh yeah mostly universally like i mean the, the 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 talking i've seen of him i've enjoyed he seems smart and thoughtful and interesting but now when you see this, it makes me wonder, like, it's another religious guy getting too close with little boys. Mm -hmm. And it's just making me think, like, him too? Is it him too? I don't know. Let's watch. I mean, you, I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's tough. I liked the Dalai Lama as, as little as I knew about him. So the backstory is he was giving a speech and this kid, I guess, was like uh, wanted to come up and give him a hug because he was so moved by the Dalai Lama. So he let him come up and give him a hug. And this is what happened. But this is already like, why are your lips so puckered up? He's 87, dude. That's old as hell, boy. Mm -hmm. 
Joe Biden moment. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's regretting going up there. He's like, shit, I take it back. <laughs> can you still, like, can you still be, like, a nasty old man at 87? Like, do you ha still have feelings of, like, so old? And suck my tongue. <laughs> he was gonna, he was gonna do it. And so I guess they stopped him. It did not happen. He did not suck his tongue. I mean, it looks to me like this is a guy who's like old and kind of forgot where he was. I feel like... I don't know. I hate it. I hate it so much. Is this like... Is it, I wonder if there's going to be more coming out about the tongue-sucking Dalai Lama. God. Uh, some Tibetans say the Dalai Lama suck my tongue viral videos being misinterpreted. Sticking one's tongue out can be a form of greeting in Tibet, but that, see, that's a crucial difference. <laughs> right. Between sticking the tongue out and sucking the tongue. And suck my tongue. For example, I take my penis out to go pee. But there's a big difference between taking it out. Mm -hmm. My tongue. I don't know where that's going. And sucking it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not. Big difference. Oh, brother. So he had to issue an apology. Uh, he said. He tweeted out. Let's see. A video clip has been circulating that shows a recent meeting when a young boy asked His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, if he could give him a hug. His Holiness wishes to... he got to change his name to His Creepiness. His Horniness. Yeah. His Horniness. His Holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family, as well as his many friends across the world, for the hurt his words may have caused. His Holiness often teases people he meets in an innocent and playful way, even in public and before cameras. He regrets the incident. Man, <sighs> and it just it makes bro, me bro i'm feel sorry it is so the the fucking notes app apology from the dalai lama <laughs> is so fucking funny <laughs> like it's just so weird oh they have context the teasing that dalai lama is referring to though sticking one's tongue out is tibetan form of respect that doesn't involve sucking uh, we got the correction here under dalai lama's apology and suck my tongue. Bro, I hate that. Uh, this man's been alive for 87 years and he fucked it up. <laughs> Dropped the ball. He was almost out. He tripped at the finish line. He was almost out. He tripped right at the finish line. Exactly what happened. He shit his pants at the finish line. <laughs> yeah. He was gonna, you know, he was gonna ascend to Nirvana. Now he's gonna get reincarnated as a fucking June bug or some shit. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like. This. I don't know how. I really. I, I. I. I feel so disillusioned. If this really is something he's been doing, it's like there's no escape from these people. It's like they're infiltrating at every level. It's so. It's so freaking scary and weird. It's just weird too. Like, why are there so many of them? So scary and weird. The Dalai Lama's up to this shit. And even if it was at its most innocent, just a joke, like that doesn't, just a joke doesn't work for Shane Dawson. It doesn't work for the Dalai Lama either. You know what I mean? But when you're playing around with kids. Exactly. Yeah, right. It's totally. Weird. Totally. I mean, it's, I, 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 it's a joke. He goes, now suck my tongue. What's the, the joke is that, you know. What is the joke? Yeah, exactly. Suck my tongue. That's wild, man. I can't. So there it is. Dalai Lama, ladies and gentlemen. Why you don't? I'm, I see a lot of people say in the chat, I'm sure you saw too, that those photos of him at the Nexium event. Yeah, you can pull that up. Yeah. Um, you know, I saw this. I, I looked into it. It was, it was 
when they were known as a quirky group, but it was many years before all of the big scandals about them broke out. So you can't totally have, have a good night. For that. I don't think I, I, when I saw that, I just assumed it was like one of like a thousand speaking uh, meeting engagements he had when he was touring America. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I think he was like, you know, fairly complimentary of their, it was, you know, it was, cause it was just like a self-help new age group at the time. You know what I mean? Well, it wasn't, but that's, that's what it was known as. At the time. Keith, tell me more about your, about this branding. I really like that. <laughs> tell me more about the, uh, the blackmail. I find that fascinating. I had seen the Dalai Lama speak in person before. Was it great? Uh, it was cold. It was a cold day. It was at Gillette Stadium where the Patriots play, so I thought that was interesting. But uh, spoke to the whole stadium. Wow. He, yeah, he spoke to the whole stadium. Was it good? Um, I mean, it was entry level world peace stuff. You know, it was, okay. It was, pe it was nice to hear. Okay. He didn't suck anybody's tongue. Right. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I was a little kid at the time when I saw it too, so it was cool. The but, next thing I'm seeing was in May of 2009. So this That's a long time long, ago. Long, long time ago, yeah. Yeah. Uh, first major expose on Nexium was in 2017. So this was nearly a decade before yeah. they were publicly known. So as uh, sex cult. Kevin, my mortal enemy, said, keep at it, Ethan. One day you'll be half the man Jay Shetty is. Oh. Kevin, why are you watching? I don't even understand. Why, you, why do you watch? Fucking A, dude. This guy's just torturing me. That's rough. All right, so there's the Dalai Lama. His horniness, his creepiness. My tongue. Speaking of old grandpas, oh yeah, let's do that. Kid Rock. Kid Rock, y'all, I don't know if y'all saw this. It's part of... Can you give us your best uh, bow with the bow? The bang, the bang? He's the bow, bow... Bang the bang guy? Yeah, dude. I'm not doing that. Do it. He's got a white MAGA hat, too. He's like, white power! <laughs> that red, I gotta wear the white one. Feeling a little bang the bang, the bong, the bong, diggy diggy. Mm-hmm. Said it bong, the bong, the up jump, the jiggy. Yep. Did I do the words right? I mean, I don't nah, know. Just a bunch of gibberish. Close enough. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to say I know all the words to that. <laughs> Can you? Because it's, it's was popular in Michigan, at least. Is Wait. he from Michigan? Mm -hmm. it's from, uh, mm -hmm. Give me, give me a little bit yeah. of it if you don't I, mind. I'd rather die. Come on, <laughs> you, <laughs> hey, you, you put that information out there. Don't yeah. leave us hanging. You can just speak, sing it. You don't have to. Like, What's the song called? Bow with the bow. Bow with the bow. Bow the bow. How am I supposed to even type that? Bow. He, he, he almost you, you did it. He almost it. did it. Okay. Come on, bang the bow. Bow it to bow. Bow it. Bow it da bow. Da bang, da bang, <laughs> diggy, diggy. Diggy said the boogie, set up, jump the boogie. Ba with da ba, da bang, da bang. And then so here it goes. Ready? My name, come on, AB. My name is Kid Rock. Kid Rock. <laughs> oh, it's just more of this. So here's the verse. Bumble and this, and this is for the questions that I don't know the. The rhythm, you the gotta back The midnight glancers and the topless dancers, the can of freaks, cars packed with speakers, the G's with 40s and the chicks with beepers. Damn! Yeah. Yo, that's the bong, the bong to the diggy, 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 diggy. Sheesh. AB's actually a walking out to this song at a creator class. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting, Chase. Uh, so anyway, here's Kid Rock. He's talking about, I don't know if we've talked about this, but Bud Light sponsored like a campaign with a trans person and every uh conservative shitbag grifter uh lost their mind because apparently trans people aren't allowed to drink bud light like what is their point trans people no bud light for you trans they don't people. like because it's being shoved in their faces being shoved you don't have faces. It's just, it's like, it's it not. It matters what's on the side of the can that I'm drinking. It matters. It's it not really for you. Trans people need to drink Michelob. Straight people drink straight I binary just, people. You know, they, they, I think they feel like Bud Light is a, you know, ingrained part of like American culture and um, seeing, seeing it go woke 
is uh, literally especially triggering to them because, uh, you know, most of their identity is based off of products and things that they consume. And Bud Light is that's a key one, man. That's 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 iconic. Bud Light is that's the beer. You know what? Actually, I've never watched this video, so it was just this one video, as I understand it. Well, and the, and the overall campaign itself on the with uh, Dylan Mulvaney. I don't know anything about her. Yeah, they made um, they made cans with her face on it too. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, that, that... Happy March Madness. That's a football thing, right? Just found basketball. out basketball. 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 This just basketball. just found out this had to do with sports and not just saying it's crazy month in celebration of sports thing. Bud Light is giving you the chance to win fifteen thousand. Share this video. So she's just working on a campaign with them. It's not even really that big of a deal. So they all uh, mass trans hysteria. Let's watch the video. See how offensive is it? I got some Bud Lights for us. So. I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to- This is like a really weird campaign for them, only because she doesn't, I don't know if it's shtick, but it, she doesn't even know about basketball. Also, apparently, a uh, small correction, they didn't even sell the cans. It was just a marketing thing. They sent her cans with her face oh on it as God. like a, you know, as a marketing thing that she could take photos with and everything. They probably so. do like a hundred of these every month. Right. These little mini campaigns with influencers. Yeah, here, here's a photo of the can. Thank you, Cam. Porn. Thank you, Cam. Thanks for the can, for the Cam. Cam. So cool. This. So she's got like a one of a kind. Yeah. It's just like kind of a fun little thing. Okay. They kind of did her dirty too. That's an unflattering illustration of her, in my opinion. Uh, it yeah. It's a little too much shading. Too right. much shading. Yeah. yeah. Celebrate. This month, I celebrated my day three sixty five of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever: a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! I so said they watch this and they go, Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and they call, they call Lib Snowflakes. This, yeah, well, they went home and they beat their wives. Yeah, we know, we know that. They slammed their kids into the wall. <laughs> they get, got drunk and started shooting their guns in the air. Fuck! Why, God? <coughs> America is falling! Was just in Nashville, Derek says, and passed by Kid Rock's restaurant. They had Budweiser signs all over the place. <laughs> of course they did. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to... They're not going to touch Bud Light. You know, my, my response to this is because when you think of Bud Light, you probably would assume their customer base is probably pretty conservative. Although I think Bud Light is popular. I think it's just um, for everyone. That's the thing. It's just such a. It's just standard issue beer in America. Right? Everybody like, likes Bud Light or yeah. drinks Bud Light. But I think it was pretty cool of them. I think it was pretty uh, courageous of them during this whole trans hysteria to kind of do this campaign with a trans person. Um, I think that was. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. So. Chris Rock obviously disagrees. So here's Chris Rock's response to uh, that is Kid Rock. <laughs> I was like, Chris Rock, really? How disappointing. <laughs> rock, here's Rock something Rock. His cousin. <laughs> okay. Part of the Rock family. Yeah. The extended so, Rock family. Here is uh, Dwayne is also in that. Right. The Rock. Mm -hmm. The here's the Rock. <laughs> 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 Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Grandpa's looking like he's got liver disease. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa looked like he got some jaundice or something. Uh-huh. Not looking great. This it, man been drinking too much. I'm sorry if this is offensive, but that is the most Michigan-looking face I've ever seen. <laughs> that looks like my grandfather. Mm -hmm. It really does. Also, what's going on with his forehead? It's like fr he's been drinking lead water for too long. <laughs> yeah, the Flint water. <laughs> You know, maybe this is good for him. Kid Rock will stop drinking uh, beer, you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, maybe this is good, good for his health. 
<laughs> Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Oh, I don't like when Grandpa feels frisky. <laughs> we all know bad things happen when Grandpa feels frisky, right, well, especially, Zach? Especially this Grandpa. Right, Zach? What happens when Grandpa feels frisky? And suck my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up and gross, but Kid Rock. That's you. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. <clears throat> Bud Light, and fuck Anheuser-Busch. Have a terrific day. So he says he wants his message to be as clear as possible, and frankly, I don't find it very clear. Not super clear. He's shooting his Bud Light cans. He hasn't said why he's upset. Yeah. Just say it. Just say it. If you hate trans people or whatever, you're not being clear. I want you to be more clear. Tell me. Do you think he went out and bought all those Bud Light cans, too, for the message? Oh, for sure. You think, yeah, definitely. And yeah, that what AB just said in the chat is a great point too. I was thinking the same thing. He emptied the whole mag and didn't even knock them all off the table. <laughs> like he like sprays from like twenty feet away, <laughs> and only the middle case goes down. I will say that uh, thanks to uh, Dylan Mulvaney, um, we're going to see uh, the sharp decrease in liver diseases. Thank you to that one post. So congratulations to her doing a real public service. We got something. We got. Is there an issue? Oh, uh, you're okay. It's yeah. Just something back there. Yeah. Fuck Bud Light and fuck Anheuser Busch. Have a terrific day. Also, the message is clear in that he. What is he? Is he implying that people should be shooting guns? Like his message is very not clear. Is this a call for violence? Because I could. You could easily see it that way. Are we? Who are we? Sh who are you? Sh you know what I mean? Let's Why just <laughs> let's be more clear, Kid Rock, dummy, idiot. It's actually disturbing. Got two hundred and twelve thousand likes and uh, eleven million views. So this is what conservative America is up to. Do you see Crowder's reaction? No, I'd love to. I have it. It's number nine in the right. Be so concerned about uh, grooming kids. Should maybe take a look at some of his song lyrics here. Oh, here, this is Kid Rock. Some ladies, young ladies, young ladies, I like them underage, see? Some say that's statutory, but I say it's mandatory? <laughs> what the He released this song when he was 30 years old. Whoa. Wait, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. We've, we've talked about this on the, uh, I Whoa. think we brought it up on Leftovers, like, over a year ago. Uh, last time he was in the news for some shit. Hold but the fucking frisky. phone, yeah. man. What song is this? Uh, what is it called? It's called... It was from Osmosis Jones, It's right? called Cool <laughs> Daddy... Yes, it's yes. called Cool Daddy Cool, wait, wait, and it's wait, from wait, uh, wait, the wait. Osmosis Jones soundtrack. Hold the phone. Which is a children's film With that he wrote a song for about how he likes to fuck underage girls. <sighs> hey, ladies He's in the audience. He's very concerned about grooming. Wait, 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 wait. This is quite, quite incredible, those lyrics. <laughs> Does the Dalai Lama have thoughts? <laughs> Does he want to spit a verse? And suck my tongue. Oh, That's no. a fire verse, actually. Not. Yeah. Suck on my tongue, ba bong ba bong biggie, biggie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch Crowder. I'm so sorry. Bud Light got even gayer, if you can believe it. <laughs> Steven, you just suck a dick, bro. You're going to love it. <laughs> like, you're just, every, it's just, you're going to love it, man. <laughs> Fight like hell. These people are so pathetic. They're so insecure. How is it that people like this? It's mostly men. Men are so unfuckable. They're, they're like, they go, nobody loves me. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Look at what you do with your time. You watch Steven Crowder. Of course nobody's going to love you. If you want to get a girlfriend, watch this show. Mm -hmm. So true. I don't know if it's gay, gender, or whatever. Dylan Mulvaney uh, did a special can 
marking uh, his one year anniversary of womanhood. Let's look at that phrase, his one year of womanhood, and uh, this is making the rounds. <laughs> Whatever team you love, I love too. Okay. Love ya. Okay, <laughs> break the leg. There's one way to curb underage drinking. <laughs> I don't get it. What? That's one way to curb. It, uh, nobody will want to drink it anymore. Nobody will want to drink because uh, she's scary. Wait, yeah. he really thinks that yeah. young people care about this? Like, you're so out of touch. That's what he means? Wow. I'm surprised they even got what he was trying to say. They're like, <laughs> Gosh. Let's also put a picture. This man's her. wearing a shirt that says Jesus is risen. Change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. Jesus is risen. Change my mind, brother. <laughs> oh God, you guys are no, he, no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Praise that's Jesus. that's my argument. Jesus is down. Oh Jesus, <laughs> Jesus <is> down. <laughs> damn, you change my mind. You prove to me Jesus is up. But just like what? What are we arguing about? Change my mind, baby. We What's both have origin? equal amount of evidence, so... Shredder's cute, and I love him. Changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's your argument? <laughs> These guys are such dork-ass losers. It's just crazy that they're watching, like, the most inoffensive clip ever of a girl just being so nice and saying, whatever team you like, I like too, and then they just are the meanest people ever. Just like, how do they not see that that person is nice and you are being mean? So true. That's just so well said. Like, literally, she's minding her own business. Drinking her beer. She's like, she, they act like she's like, drink this beer and then go talk to your children and get start, give them hormones against their will. We're going to start a trans army and we're going to overthrow the government. The first trans army is coming. Jesus has risen. Gosh. Let's also put a picture of her by the mantle. Keep the kids away from the fire. Yeah. Him. <laughs> Shoot. Whatever. Whatever. Wait, wait, wait. He said, keep them away. Again, his jokes are not good. Oh, Horrible. Look, what, he's saying she's scary, so they'll keep the kids by the fire. Kid, crowd, are your kids dumb? so fucking dumb they don't know to stay away from fire? <laughs> they need deterrent? Like, what kind of dumbass children are you raising? <laughs> Shoot. Whatever. Whatever. Z. Fire. Yes. Mantle. Keep the kids away from the fire. Yes. Him. <laughs> Shoot. It's like so. It's it's not even funny. It's like confusing. Mm. Yeah. Shoot. Whatever. Whatever. Z. I don't know. You can admonish me off the bat because I can't keep this straight. Now it's her. It's not so that complicated. Hard. It's, so hard. it's just not complicated. It's so fucking hard. <laughs> it's really so easy. Here's the thing, we can't confirm, Nick, you were saying, asking me this earlier, we can't confirm if this person is actually an officially a Bud Light uh, partner, right. sponsor, um, because it didn't seem like it was on Bud Light anywhere. Right, yeah. But Mulvaney had... You guys, I see you guys did lots of research here in preparation for this. <laughs> yeah, we didn't look into this at all. <clears throat> but let me tell you this. Bud Light is gay as hell now, boys. We ain't drinking it. I got a friend. He was drinking a bunch of bed Bud Light. He was sucking dick by the end of the week, boy. Yeehaw! They putting something in that Bud Light. Men are looking more and more nice to me every day. It's scary to me. Hi, Alfredo. As endorsement deal deals with major brands, you have Crest, you have Evolution of Smooth, you have Instacart, you have Cerave, you have Ulta Beauty, you have Jeez. Native. Some people have said KitchenAid. I don't know if I can confirm. So he's angry that she has a career? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, lots of, there's like influencers work with brands. So, so he wants the world to reject her entirely. He doesn't want her to exist, essentially. And give him all of, all of her success. He wants to do the Bud Light commercials. Let him do it. <laughs> right. He's uh, the theater kid. <laughs> He's the actor here. <laughs> It bothers him because it's a lot of effort to misgender her on purpose. Yeah. That's what it is. He, uh, from chat, he tried to misgender her and failed. <laughs> it's yeah. that easy. Right. Yeah. Someone else said he was like, fuck, I was just respectful. Whoops. Oops. My tongue. <laughs> tongue. From that. And to be fair to Bud Light, I mean, it was easy to trick people because Mulvaney was their second choice. You know, the first choice that we had, uh, Bud Light. 
Uh-huh. Uh, oh, wow. Look. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Who is watching this? Dude, nobody laughed when they saw that. What is this? Buffalo Bill. Is he, Buffalo Bill. Who, is that a gay guy? No, it's the uh, villain from Silence of the Lambs. So, but the, so what's the joke? He's not gay. They're sponsoring... It's, so he's saying sponsoring a trans person is like sponsoring a serial killer? Well, I guess the, the character of Buffalo Bill, like... Dresses up as a, a woman and skins people. Um, I don't understand the comparison. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. It's so dumb. Why are you like this, Steven Crowder? How do you? How are you successful? It's in the same vein. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I guess if uh, so, they they fired the little leprechaun sidekick and replaced them with this guy. Who the fuck even is this? I miss the leprechaun. Yeah, I miss him too. And the fans do too. Every time I go, uh, all the comment section is, uh, where the fuck is Dave? Why'd you get rid of Dave? Oh, it's his dad? Yo, that's his dad? Oh, that's uh, yeah. end of the show. So I, his dad is his manager. Right. I, had, I, quite a, I had quite a few exchanges with uh, that man, as a matter of fact. Wait, what happened with Crowder's dad? I forget. He was the one that set up our whole thing with Sam Cedar. Oh, yeah. daddy. Daddy, you fucked up. I yeah, wonder no, if he, he got mad he, at his dad. His daddy that. manages him. That's 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 who I was dealing with. I wonder if his dad elbowed the leprechaun out and took his place. <laughs> look, look, I guess if uh, Bud Light can pretend to be beer, she can. He can pretend to be a woman. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. so, yeah. They think, yeah, we need a spokesperson who knows nothing about sports and doesn't understand the Democrat. Remember they did the. Oh, hold on. Ab's leaving. He's going for his. He's going for his flight to a Crater Clash. It's all happening. Oh, shit. You could say goodbye, Avi. Yeah, my camera's frozen. I was walking oh. over here to Zach. But, uh, yes, love you all. Thank you, guys. Uh, and uh, hopefully I will make the family proud. See you soon. Woo! Knock him yeah, down, baby. You'll make us proud no matter what, A.V. Yeah, you already made us proud. You already made us proud. Kick some ass. We love you. You're going you're gonna to destroy him, dude. Ooh, puppy. Hello. A.B., everybody. Have a good flight. Fuck dad. Fuck all the dads. Crowders and the one you're fighting. It's Rogan, Amy Schumer commercials, Bud Light yes, for a while. Yeah, yes. those worked like a charm. Yes. <laughs> but, but my question, was that really her head? Why did her head look Dude, so... Dude, you're blowing it. You suck already. Huge. And her torso looks so tiny. Well, that's what happens. The estrogen yeah. sort of, it breaks down the body to the point of no repair, but you still have the economy. That was a guy at one point? Yeah. What's happening? Where did that chip come from? Wait, what? Can I see what he ate? Where did he get this? Where did, how did you get that, Shredder? It's like a tortilla chip? Or, uh, what does that smell like to you? Shredder got a chip. I don't know how, but he's on like a super strict diet because of his kidney condition. Dad, where do you find these things, man? Jeez Louise. Exactly. You want me to believe this? Still is. Yeah. Still is well, a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Is he, does he say more? Because I could, I could skip this whole stupid thing. Yeah. Was that it? Uh, we got the idea. Yeah. Boring. L. We got the idea. So, uh, and shout out to Bud Light. They defended their partnership with Mulvaney in a statement. They said, work, they work with hundreds of influencers across our brands as one of many ways to authentically connect with audiences. That yep. actually is the perfect statement. They're like, why are you all tripping balls about some dumb shit, idiots? Kid Rock, <laughs> dumbass. Kid Rock, uh, who is... Uh, can I call him a P-word? Not really. How, would, how, how can we refer to Kid Rock from that lyric? Feeling a little frisky today. In my opinion, Statutory R-wordist? Sure. In my opinion, that's definitely... Pedo territory? Or definitely. Uh, no doubt, yeah? Again, no? uh, 30 years old. He was 30. Right. And, okay, so, so Kid Rock, known, known pedophile. <laughs> Did I say that? I mean, it's just a song lyric. Uh, lots of people put things in songs that they don't really mean. That said, I have no issue personally, in my opinion, believing 
that he's probably a B word. <laughs> it's kid. Well, his, it's like Kid Rock. He can't ever grow up. He got, he just wants to be a kid. He's a kid. Kid. He's a kid. He's a kid. He is a kid. He wants to fuck kids. It all adds Let's up. Take it. So there it is. Uh, there it is. Their whole the, there's been like a whole culture war over Bud Light sponsoring a trans person. It's actually so gross, you know. The anti-trans rhetoric on the right is becoming so hysterical. It's it's so dangerous, and actually, it's so sad because trans people really are like the the most vulnerable, like the the mo one of the most vulnerable, if not us groups. And it's like, it's just so sad, but it's fucking evil, dude. Well, we have at a minimum, like a year and a half more of this because this is quite literally the Republican strategy to get elected in 2024. Just like, this is like shit on trans people. Right now. And so, uh, Hopefully it won't work, and they'll eat shit, and then they'll find something else. I don't think Trump has a chance in hell. He already lost once. It's like, he's not better off than he was last time. Well, never <laughs> underestimate the Democrats' ability to fuck it up. <laughs> right. You never underestimate it. Um, it's incredible how many legitimate problems are in this country, and like a whole party's platform is just trans people, huh? Like, and them trans people, that's wild, huh? We're like, well, what about healthcare and Medicare going bankrupt and national debt and inflation? Trans people are wild, huh? Yes, sir. Trans people are wild. He got a good point. Yeehaw! That man speaking to my soul. Trans people are wild. I don't understand that at all. Uh, can you hand me a bottle of water, love? There's too much lead in the water today. They, the local government said, the mayor said, don't drink water for a week. It's got too much mercury in it. Anyway, trans people really are the problem. Hey, uh, sweetheart, can you get me that N95? There's too much vinyl chloride in the air this day. <laughs> and that's the real irony is like, they've juiced up their own audience so much with this shit that they can't even get them to give a shit about that other stuff because they tried. Because you remember with the Ohio uh, uh, train wreck stuff? Uh, Nobody they, cared. They, well, right. they somewhat correctly pointed out how little the Democrats were doing and giving a shit about it. Trump went there. Right. And they were really leaning into it. And I just don't think that they got the juice that they want because their own audience doesn't give a shit about real problems. <laughs> and That's awesome. They, I mean, I think they know in their hearts it's like, we're not going to fucking do anything about this. We, we're for deregulating all of these railroads and everything. So, you know, they want the optics of like, we're here to help, but they're not actually going to do anything. Hell and it's, no. it's much easier to just keep harping on these culture war things. Like, I, th that's, that's all they got. That's all they got to say at this point. Yeah, Nancy, I just got back from urgent care. They said I, got a, I can't get afford to get my cancer removed. So anyway, I'll book about, about, about two weeks left. Anyway, this trans person, really. <laughs> right. So wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son has curable blindness. My 12-year-old boy got curable blindness. I just can't afford the $3,000 procedure. But them trans people really messing up society, boy. Ooh-wee. Hey, here's a chat message I just saw that's heartening. Can't believe I was a mug club. Wow. Shout out to the trans fam. I almost don't believe it, but if it's true, Jake, I fucking love that, man. Yeah. I believe it. Good for you, dude. I think a lot of their uh a lot I think a lot of their fans are young. I think Steven Crowder in particular really appeals to that fucking contrarian, annoying ass fifteen year old kid you know what i mean i mean uh, his worldview crowder's worldview is so shallow that once you have like any level of critical thinking or intelligence you will see that like Starts there's to fall nothing real quick there's nothing there yeah 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 that's right so anyway uh as since we're talking about the issue of gender uh, I did want to talk about this because it was pretty interesting. Mr. Beast, his one of his best friends and crew member, I've met him, sweet guy, Chris Tyson. 
he had his son around the same time we had Theodore. When did you meet? I didn't uh, know that. So I was in a Mr. Beast video. You remember that? Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, okay. The driving across the country yeah, to yeah, have yeah. a burger with H3. I remember. For dogs. So he's a really nice guy. He's always been a really nice guy. So I guess he started a hormone replacement treatment. He, by the way, people keep getting like angry, like I'm misgendering him. He's, his uh, pronouns are not, he says he's cool with whatever. He has any pronouns yeah. listed in uh, their Twitter I mean, bio. his name is Chris still, so. Well, Chris is actually kind of a neutral oh, yeah. name. You're right. Yeah. You just so. put a K in there and then all of a sudden. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I know trap. him. I like him, you know, so stop that. Oh, look at I that. didn't know that this. Uh, let's see. When I was 14, seven years ago, I loved Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, and Candace Owens. I'm telling you. I, Yo, you were 14? That's so scary. Dude, I can't even uh, say that when I was younger and I was kind of like growing up, I. I loved seeing it when Ben Shapiro like owned people. I thought it was oh, so cool when I was 14. That could and be I the got, gateway, huh? Absolutely. I've talked about this a lot on my platforms, but I really do attribute kind of you um, going you, kind of the opposite way. And I'm not, not saying this just because I'm here. I actually like attribute a lot of um, kind of you pulling me out of that uh, meme hole. Because wow. when I was younger, I, I feel like if I, if I wasn't let like uh, kind of teach something else or like um something like that uh, i would i'm could have might as well just fallen into yeah. the meme home possibly wow yeah, that's not really surprised. nice to hear yeah because i mean the reason that i like doing leftovers is because i think it is important uh and it's nice to know that it it, it works you know in some in some small way some a lot of people are saying same here Love. yeah it I mean, explains I... a lot if their fans are 14 year olds <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I, I, there's plenty of dumbasses, I'm sure, of all Damn. ages that watch them. But I, I do think that, uh, yeah, like Love said, I think you really identified it, Love. The the, the epic ownage content is, uh, yeah, owning people with facts and logic is um, very appealing to, uh, to young people. I was going to say young men, I guess just young people in general, but it does... Seem like their audience is it's a young man thing. Men, yeah. Jake says I'm 18. I've been watching Ethan basically my whole life, and like some of Ethan and like some of Ethan's social justice warrior vids, I got recommended a ton of Crowder, Rogan, Shapiro, and became a mug clubber. Leftovers brought me back. Whoa! Right, because the um, the the it was, and you've reflected and talked about this at length, but it is a very thin line between the making fun of embarrassing SJW content that you used to make which wasn't necessarily explicitly right-wing. And, I mean, I know you weren't right-wing, so that wasn't even, like, an undercurrent. But it's only one step over the line to the same content that Crowder and Shapiro and all those people are making about those same people, which is much more explicitly political and, you know, right-leaning. So I've talked at length about it, but that's why... I felt the need to do this switch Be and, and it happened when I would put out a video and I would see like people retweeting it like Ben Shapiro and Steven Crowder and right. that gorilla mind. Who's that psycho? Uh, <laughs> gorilla mind, uh, uh, Cernovich. Yeah. And I would see them retweeting it. I'd be like, dude, right. Wait, wait. And it it's really disturbed call. me. Yeah. It's a wake up call for sure. And so I did have to go through this metamorphosis publicly anyway. Yeah. And I get it. I mean, like, you know, those videos were funny. A lot of, you know, people are cringe. Yeah. And you were pointing out the cringe, and you weren't wrong. But, yeah, it, it really is just one step over further to the right, and you, you wind up down that whole algorithm hole, which, yeah, is evidenced by, like, we see people saying in the chat. There's a lot of people. Latin Cursor says, adjusted. I was super conservative at age 13 to 16. Then I pivoted to Young Turks and started to move center, now at 23. Why are all these young kids caring about politics? I didn't give a fuck about that shit when I was young. There's I don't like, even think it's politics. I think it's just literally owned. Wow, just owned. that was funny. Yeah. Right. And it, back then, it wasn't even like transgender, transgender issues or anything like that. It was just like more 
more like maybe uh, financial Feminist. issues. Feminism. Feminism maybe. Feminism. Yeah. I don't remember That was like exactly, the mid, you know, 2014, 2015. Yeah. It was all like these crazy feminists, which that's still out there too, but it's definitely become way more focused on like the gender issue stuff. Well, that's awesome. And I, uh, I'm actually really happy to hear that. I think that validates what we're doing here in a way because, you know, the more young people we can activate and get involved and t to see through all this crazy, now becoming like violent, uh, it's just counterproductive, destructive tendencies that we see from conservatives um, is awesome. It's just awesome. I mean, that's great. But to go back to the issue of Chris, so I was surprised by this just because I had no idea. I mean, I didn't, I, I mean, and who does, right? Because he, he's married, he has a son, he's still married and has a son, mm -hmm. but, but he's uh, announced that he's doing hormone replacement therapy and he started kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it because he's not come out as like trans, but gender non-conforming, I guess. What yeah, non-binary, right? Non-binary. So um, he's, so people are freaking out, you know. And I miss Mr. Beast is, everybody's a fan of Mr. Beast, so he's going to have a lot of conservatives. Mr. Beast. Yeah, that's going to break a lot of their minds because... Mr. Beast, uh, you know, I think very consciously has tried to remain above the fray when it comes to anything controversial and everything. And um, but I was glad to see he was he was tweeting out his support. He's not, you know, he's not being wishy washy about it at all. So I gotta say, for, these guys, man. I'm so proud of them. One for Chris, like people go, what's wrong with him? Like. His brain's rotting. He's crazy. He's got a wife and a kid, and how? And it's just crazy and weird. And I'm like, this is a dude who is in his mid twenties, is married with a kid, has the best job in the world, and makes a shit ton of money, and has everything to lose by going by doing this. Right. He has he has everything to lose. The only pro in this would be to. Uh, feel more himself. His own well-being, yeah. His own well-being, which is what he said. He said he thinks it saved his life. That's so these people, they want, they would rather him be dead, apparently. Yep. Or miserable, or mm -hmm. clo miserable, closeted. Right. Yeah. That's that's the American way. They're like, yo, come on, what, what's would, up, dude? Yeah, <laughs> they would have much rather Chris had stayed in his in their traditional life and not change any, like literally. They, mm, I lost what I was gonna say. <laughs> they want it all be like it. bottled up. They want him th to be the dad from American Beauty. Yeah, they would rather him That's the suffer, American way. suffer right. silently with everything that they think is right, than, than be himself, be but, themselves. Uh, what's interesting, and it yeah, it took an incredible bravery, and you know. If you find it weird, that's because you're just not used to seeing this kind of stuff. Uh, because it's in the process of being normalized. He didn't do anything wrong. That's where you guys are fucking crazy. You're acting like he did something wrong. He's just being true to himself. You want to, you know. And it, this is a, this is a guy who, again, yeah, he's being true to himself for the sake of himself and his kid and his wife and his family. They're still all together. And, uh, that's cr I think it's inspiring. I think there's if there's people who are struggling themselves and seeing this and seeing him talk about how he turned around, um, hopefully, and I'm sure it will because the audience is so massive, will inspire people to take care of themselves as well. But there's a really ugly part of this too, of course. Bro, what the fuck happened? 130,000 likes. The top comment, Mr. Beast done showed him the beast. Eggplant emoji. Um, Ollie London, of course. You guys, this this is the craziest thing. Ollie London is the absolute... He's like, I don't even know how to describe this guy. 
he went trans Korean and became he's the first transracial guy and he wanted to look like Junior. I don't even know if it's the first. Uh, I mean, maybe. And now he has, as many have figured out, that it's very, very lucrative to ride the conservative hate train. Ollie London has now joined their ranks. It's heartbreaking to see so many young people feel compelled to change themselves and their gender. This is a grown-ass man, dumb, dumb idiot loser. He goes, it's heartbreaking to see so many young people. This is a grown-ass man with a family. And also, you tried to turn yourself Korean. Like, you're the last person that should be commenting on this. Wasn't he Fucking trans idiot. at some point? or was? I he... believe so. Yeah. But now now they're a big uh, detransition celebrity. They, they, they realize that's the that new that, grift. That's, the, yeah. that's where the cloud is. I've so. been there. I know. <laughs> right. Uh, it's changed them's gender. Learning to accept our natural selves is extremely difficult, but loving ourselves is more important. Are you fucking me in the asshole right now? <laughs> You're gonna talk to me about the the value of learning to love yourself? Like, let's say that's true. You've been through quite a journey, Ollie. Would you deprive other people of that journey? Like, I'm glad that you came out on top. You went trans. You went to, you went transracial. You went Korean. And now you you've settled on yourself and you're happy. So you want to deprive other people of that journey? You want to judge them? You want to hate them because now you're fine and people are paying you? You hateful fucking trollish. God, I hate him so. Such a cynical bitch, dude. Yeah. It suck. Just tongue. suck my tongue, dude. He wrote a book called Gender Madness. That's what I'm saying. It's so lucrative to hop on this train, man. It, it, it just pays so well. That's, that's what's going on here. It is interesting to think that Crowder's just entertaining a bunch of 14-year-olds. Like, if he had a live show and it's just like kids. It's just like kids. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, so, let's see. Then Chris responded to it. Let's take a look. <laughs> he responded, HRT, and it's only been two months. So, again, being proud, proudly himself. Uh, in case you missed it, this is his alt. He said, uh, Informed consent HRT saved my and many others' lives. The hurdles, GNC people, what's GNC? John, gender non conforming. Oh, okay. People have to jump through to get life saving, gender affirming health care. Is a in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies. No, there it is. Uh, no, that's kind of their whole shtick, dude. Carl being a supportive king, even Mr. Beast. And this is when I really was like, okay, Beast is cool, man. He's coming out here supporting his homie, and he is sticking his neck out because you know this is such a yeah, there's culture no, war. yeah, there's no way to. Avoid the backlash. They're going to boycott Mr. Beast now. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, you know, be about sex was boycotting Bud Light. Yeah, We're canceled. boycotting air, brothers. These trans people have been breathing the same air as us. I'll be holding my breath. Got me an oxygen chink tank from China. Mm -hmm. Got me an oxygen yeah. shake from Russia. There ain't no gay people in Russia, Putin said. <laughs> um... Mr. Beast has been very supportive. I love that for him. I really do love that for him. That's so cool of him. Uh, here's more. This dude said, uh, bro, what the fuck happened? He came out and said, here to help with the ratio. We love that. This guy said, in a few years, looking back at this thread, and remember, they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. Like, dude, what are you talking about? So cynical. Mr. Beast, opinion, irrelevant, ratio, love that Wait, for you. A few years, look back at this thread. Remember, they were never your friends. He's saying, Who? in a couple years, when you realize the terrible mistake you've made, as we know, there's a huge number of people, uh, trans people, that regret it, about less than 3%. Uh, <laughs> you'll realize that they were never your friends because they didn't make you want to kill yourself like I would have. <laughs> right, I was just, just having a hard time with the, the logic there. I was supportive, of course. Uh, I wanted to voice my support for him. Oh, what a... And, and, uh... Our, uh the, the commenters were gracious enough to call me, uh... 
transphobic for misgendering him or something. Oh, and then of course, uh, uh, the man who cares the most, uh, Keemstar, had uh, this to say. Trans right defender, Keemstar. Ethan Klein is being called out for labeling Chris a king. After Chris announced they are on hormone, hormone replacement therapy, many feel Ethan should have used Queen instead. I'm many drawn. feel. I support you, King. His, his uh, supporting evidence is this comment with no likes. That makes <laughs> sense. Zero likes. Zero <laughs> likes, zero engagement. Oh. Nice. Nice. What do you think you are supporting if you're calling her a king? People are so annoying and dumb and like, just what shut the- What do you think you like, are dude. Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, he was there. He was in the chat. So shout out to them. Now there's this whole other story. This guy is claiming that Chris reached out and threatened to sue him because of a tweet he made. Look at this. Chris, old Chris would make fun of new Chris. This people always say that about me. Old Ethan would be making fun of new Ethan. It's like it's so fucking dumb. It's like I'm me. Ask me. Here, let me tell you. I'm me. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> it's me. I think I'm the authority on what I'm what me would do. It's me. Why did you unmatch me? <laughs> Also, this insinuation, Chris would have definitely made fun of this trans person. Look at this trans idiot, old Chris would have said. Like, no. Because that's that was the big focus of Mr. Beast videos a few <laughs> years ago, was just dunking on people. That's always been their content. It's also just so funny. Like, that Chris probably was struggling and was thinking about this. And oh, the yeah. Chris on the right is the Chris that I imagine the Chris on the left would be Proud of and like happy proud of. for. Mm -hmm. right? That's what I think. And people say, oh, old Ethan would make fun of new Ethan. I'm like, I'm so much happier and mm -hmm. better off now in every perceivable way. Yeah, like I, I, I think I would be I would be super happy. And well, you can just ask me because I'm me. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you. That's true. I wouldn't make fun of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm cool. Old me made the decisions to become new me. In fact, I'm just me. Uh, so this guy's saying that Chris is threatening to sue him. Now, from what I can tell, this is not real. But what he's doing actually is super fucked up, and maybe Chris should sue him for the joke. Because he's put he put out this message. Uh, Yo, whoever, I saw this tweet from you today and wanted to say my lawyers will be in contact with you shortly with a court notice for misspelled defamation this idiot wrote it himself don't know why you or anyone would tweet something so hatred towards anyone on the internet so blatantly disgusting see you soon asshole. yeah obviously that's not fucking real and then he responded what the fuck the thing is that uh dumbasses will think it's real a lot of people think it's real of course and i started to even get a little confused because the, what's a wild thing to just put out there that's actually That might be defamation. But so I think this is Chris. That would be real <laughs> irony. Now I'm doing it. If it does sue for defamation, but for making up the lie about suing for defamation. Chris. Uh, Love says that account got banned. Okay. Not surprised. Yeah. Elon Musk Twitter. Shame on you. Yeah, that's tough. Um, I'm assuming this was, this was Chris saying that. This never happened. He says, my lawyer will be in contact with you, Mr. Beast. But this guy's still running with it, that it's uh, real. I saw a TikTok of someone claiming that Chris reached out to them, too. And this was when I got confused. I was like, this shit is not real, right? And, this, and the comments here, this has a million. This is where it's really fucked up. A million likes, 1.1 million likes. All the comments are like Chris, like transphobic and hating and believing it. 14 million views on this video. Mm -hmm. So here's what it's posting. It's posting this message that we just read on Twitter. Now he's posting a fake summons? Like this guy needs, this is, now we're in lawsuit territory. <laughs> he, he posted a fake summons? I mean, that's so over the top that you have to assume it's all fake, right? I can't imagine it's real. There's no shot. There's yeah, no I mean, way. I don't believe it, but I, I, I mean, 
But this guy actually needs to be sued now, because this is fucking insane. 13 million views, and if you go to the comments... Let's go! Mm -hmm. This is the guy who was tweeting about it. He's banned. Chris, please take action against him. It would be so epic and poetic. Well, you'd have to... You have to prove damages somehow, right? Like... Well, so, indefinitely... Isn't it... It has to know it, like you, malice you, and and provable provable damages aren't those like kind of the I think the two you can do you punitive damages which are limited but I'm not really sure. There's also certain crimes that have like implied damage if they're accused of doing something heinous enough. Uh, dude, they wrote his name on the lawsuit, Alex Fearbuck Francis. No, they're not writing your Twitter <laughs> handle in the lawsuit. Dumb. Stupid ass. And then it's signed Chris with his Twitter handle. Dude, oh, what? I didn't even look. Okay, yeah, obviously. Fake. It's yeah, it's fake. <laughs> so, but I saw this and it I'm truly disturbed by this. If you go to the comments, again, yeah, 13 bro, million views. Insane. He's, we've got a uh, Christian. He is risen. Chris has fully lost it. For real, Chris is a living L now. Your honor, he hurt my feelings. So, this is not real. These all 50,000 likes. These people all think this is real. Oh, yeah, nah, I'm yeah, with yeah, Fearbuck. Yeah, yeah. Chris Hella insecure for this. Chris L. He can't be sued for defamation for posting two pictures of Chris publicly posted. He can't be sued for defamation for lying about this whole thing. Chris Chris is going straight down just like the re, just like his test. Fearbuck, you're sentenced to five minutes in timeout for hurting his feelings. So this is all people thinking this is real. Wild. Just stunning. And this is part of what's so fucked up about transphobia. Now it's like this guy made this really brave decision to come out against, with nothing to gain, everything to lose, and now they're gonna fucking straight up lie on him to assassinate his character as well. This is yeah. so wrong. Pretty fucked up. If I, you know, ugh. I recognize that account. That guy's always been scum and prominent Aiden Ross sympathizer and dick writer. Says uh, Mega Awesome. Well, that certainly doesn't surprise me. Is he an influencer? Or oh wait, I see. I got confused by the verified. You just paid for it like an idiot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dummy. You want to talk about embarrassing? You paid for Twitter Blue. Hey, check out this guy. He's wearing makeup. Let's fuck him up. Hey, check him out. This guy's got long hair. Let's get him. You're like a bunch of rednecks in a pickup truck. Crazy. So, uh, I hope that guy gets sued. I really do. I really do. Um, here's a bunch of... I don't know if I need... Oh, Sneeko's involved? I'm sure he had some... Ollie London, you scumbag. Ollie London! YouTuber Chris Tyson went from masculine family man. Based on what is he masculine? You don't know anything about him because he looks like a guy with a two-year-old son to transgender with because he goes with a transgender dude with a family and a son pumped full of estrogen hormones all in the space of a few months. Chris from YouTube's biggest uh, channel, Mr. Beast, decided to begin transitioning two months ago. And Ollie London, who has been totally irrelevant, he's totally irrelevant, totally, nobody takes him seriously. But the minute he comes out with this grift, now people are listening, 17,000 likes. Like, don't you see how easy this grift is? He's probably making more money than he ever has. It's so transparent. I don't know, man. These people seem evil, like, to go from being trans yourself to being anti-trans for a paycheck. Nico's take. Oh, brother, this is going to be good. God. What the fuck happened? The people that are encouraged. That, that's, that's Sneeko when he sees his wife get a fucking bucket load of bukkake on her face. What the fuck happened? The people that are encouraging this. That's Sneeko as his wife grabs the other dude's cock and tells her how bad she wants it. He watches. 
They're not, they think that they're doing the right thing. They're all brainwashed. Even Mr. Beast thinks that he's doing the right thing by supporting his friend, Chris. Brainwashed. If you really cared, you would not encourage his delusion now. You would look at the long term. If you really cared, you would let him kill himself. And see that this is something that he's doing because he is brainwashed by social media. Because he's That's living so in the insane. West where this is pushed by a bunch of garbage. If you were really his friend right now, you would hear what I'm saying. Because someone's. This is so gross. I didn't even listen to it. You don't know anything about anything, dude. Uh, here's a sneak uh, tweet. We are praying for you, Chris. Hope you realize how much impact your decisions are having in, in the youth. That's actually a... I agree. I think he's having... He's actually probably saving a lot of young kids who are scared. Ay, ay, ay. It's sad. I feel for the... I feel for the trans people. It's just... The world is so unfair and so mean. It's just so mean right now. Hateful. Even violent. I don't like it. But anyway, shout out to Chris uh, for making this very brave decision to be true to himself. With nothing to gain, I think that's worth... This man had everything to lose by doing this. Y'all think he did this for fun or something? And uh, Mr. Beast for supporting his buddy. That's awesome. Good for both of them, eh? Love them. All right, let's talk about something funny now. Uh, let's talk about the Ohio bus driver. This is a really cool story. I, there's some conflict, uh, but I think, interestingly, a lot of people support the bus driver who's calling little kids little shits and pieces of shit. And <laughs> Jackie Miller, a 68-year-old bus driver from Ohio, resigned. So she fired or she resigned? Resign means quit. I suppose. I heard she was fired. Uh, she resigned from her job as a bus driver after a two-minute video of her yelling at her junior high school bus riders went viral. Apparently, the kids on the bus were spraying a perfume she's allergic to. God damn it! She blames it for causing an asthma attack just one month before. Dude, kids are so crazy. So crazy. They're like, yo, did you hear Jack, uh, Mrs. Miller? She had an asthma attack? Let's bring the perfume on and see if we can get her to have another one. Uh, Washington Post reports she stepped down. God damn it! And now people... Well, let's watch the video. So they're trying to yeah. kill her, essentially. Awesome. <laughs> Kids are crazy! Of course some little shit's gonna have a cell phone and put it on TikTok, you know, like... It's just the kids are fucking nuts. Is it a dash cam or I think it oh no, no there's what, someone's no, filming it with their phone. Yeah. I'm a fan of her. So let's see. <laughs> you know, when I saw this without the context, I was like, okay, this is pretty wild. Uh, but they were trying to kill her. These are all Ben Shapiro and Crowder fans, by the way, who are trying to kill their bus driver with perfume. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but these are the people. I can smell it. I didn't do anything. I didn't <laughs> anything. I can smell it. She's like uh, Miss Crabtree from South Park, the bus driver. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, there's an interesting uh, parallel. Yeah. At least she didn't, like, punch anyone in the face. I've seen that on the bus. That's pretty wild. <laughs> she used her words. <laughs> sick of you. I'm sick of all of this shit. Yeah. I'm done with it. Yes. Stop kicking some fucking serious ass. Let's go. Do you hear me? Yes. yes. My foot's gonna be so far up your goddamn ass, it's gonna dangle out your goddamn nose. I'm done with you. That phone, in your bag. Now you give it to me. All right, fine. But you can't have your phone on the bus? Some instances, no. You can't use your phone on the bus? What, what are you supposed to do? When I was younger, we yeah. were not able to have any... Uh, any Middle like school, that. it had to be in the bag. Yeah. Well, cell phones didn't bus? exist, obviously, when I was taking right. buses. You know what we yeah. did when we didn't have something to distract us? We f would, like, tear the cushions apart. <laughs> you remember right, that? Yes. There's, like, a little rip, and you start tearing the cushions out. That's what Menace. you want us to do? Jesus. Yeah. You want us to try to kill the bus driver. Right. <laughs> Done! God dang it, I can I... fucking smell it! <laughs> I'm allergic to this open, shit! Open I didn't spray anything. Right, like, I didn't do anything. Anybody, any kid who says 
I didn't do anything in that tone. Guilty. Definitely. That she can friggin' smell it. One thousand percent did the thing. Should have made their asses walk home. <laughs> I'm taking an Uber. <laughs> fuck hey, you guys. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Start shit too, Maya. You're no innocent. You're no innocent angel here. <laughs> Fuck she has Maya. had it up to here, man. <laughs> These kids have put her through shit we don't even know about. Done with this shit. Done. <laughs> I've had my fill. I'm done. Though so she's doing her, she's doing her straight resignation. Fuck you all to a bus full of kids. <laughs> yeah. She's having like her moment, you know, that you fantasize of. <laughs> Fuck all you little pieces of shit. <laughs> That's pretty epic. Telling a bunch of kids to fuck off. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. Walk off this goddamn bus right now and let you people walk the That's fuck home. <laughs> Dude, she's so angry. She's like Chris Farley's character in um uh, fucking Billy Madison. Yeah. He's like, I'll turn this goddamn bus around. <laughs> I love the obscenity. She's just off. Oh, dude, she's, she's off. Dude. She's bright red. How much more do you think anybody can freaking take? <laughs> Shut your mouth. I don't want to. <laughs> someone just coughed. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> I've had enough of you. It sounded like someone just coughed. <laughs> take. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear another goddamn word out of your mouth. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. What did I just fucking tell you? Dude, whoa. <laughs> hero or villain? Uh, <laughs> hero. I'm hero. Yeah, I'm hero. 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 Yeah. hero. This this girl fucks, man. What if, you fi- what if you find out yeah. that she has like a violent history and she's. That's mm-hmm. a, uh, we don't have all the context, but I mean, the context that I have is like you were just describing, Ethan. When I was in middle school, I, I have memories. Oh, of my portrait. God. Fuck out of teachers. Oh, and yeah. I definitely deserve to be chewed out like that. So, you know. Kids are like <laughs> genuine psych- so psychopaths. Like, psychopaths <laughs> is when, like, you don't grow up. <laughs> The shit kind of do is <laughs> so nuts. Yeah. I was t- when we watched this clip yesterday, I was telling Cam when I was in middle school, my middle school music teacher, uh, he, he was first year, he was brand new teacher. And we used to fucking torment this guy like so badly. It was it, it was in band class, and we would constantly just like blow our instrument really loud <laughs> while he was talking. And then he would get mad and start yelling at that person. And as he's yelling at one person, somebody over here behind him <laughs> would do it again. And we'd do this for like 20 minutes. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, Dan, that is so pretty fucking funny. upset. <laughs> it is pretty funny. I mean, it's funny, but like, that's why I'm saying, like, he had he, every right to fucking scream at us mm-hmm. like that. He would have absolutely demon. been in the right to do that. She ate those kids up. <laughs> I think every teacher has probably fantasized about this. Yeah, so. they've all had that moment for sure. You think it's funny? You think it's funny? You're all, no, you didn't. You're so full of shit, Jackson. You're as bad yeah. as he is. I like how she knows all their names, too. My bus tour driver didn't know all of our names. <laughs> they just came, they dropped yeah. us off. They don't know anything. Yeah, it wasn't that personal. See, at one point, she learned all their names. Yeah, that's sweet. That is you can sweet. tell them to fuck off. Uh-huh. She put it in her manifesto. Yeah, that's why <laughs> they're on a list. Maya, Jackson. <laughs> Done. Done. Yo, there's some major soundbite potentials in here, Zach. Yeah, I'll come I'm through. Done. <laughs> Not another goddamn word out of any of you. Ohio, Jackie. Done. Oh, at least she's ah. taking him home. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the bitch was wide. Damn, I'd be scared she's gonna drive that bitch off a cliff, to be honest. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, actually, I will walk home. There it is. Oh, wow. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, let's do a poll. I know it seems that everybody loves her, but let's just let's uh, solidify it. All right, what's the poll? Uh, uh, was she right? Was the bus driver. Or was she wrong? Was the bus driver right or wrong? That's it. That's it. That's the poll. Was the bus driver, option one, right or wrong? Was she right 
Or was she wrong? All right, I'm throwing up the poll. For freaking out like that. I have a feeling it's going to be lots of support for our... Drive angry. For our wonderful driver here. Should we reach out and hire her? Oh, could be my dude. driver. <laughs> Your person. Dude. She's going to turn on me, watch. That'd yeah. be a great call. Maybe Fuck like... Fuck you! You're full of shit, Ethan! <laughs> Put your fucking phone away! <laughs> or maybe she can just come and yell at us, like, individually. Yo, do you think she'd call in and start yelling? For I'll us? reach out. Reach out. She yeah. would make me cry. I'll, that'll be a paid gig. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I want her. We need her part of this. Ohio trip. Jackie. <laughs> Tatum says, uh, when I was in eighth grade, I stole my fat teacher's brownie and shared it with my friends. When we came back from lunch, there was a crime scene tape in her classroom with wanted signs pasted all over the hallway. Really? No, there wasn't. You got yeah. he uh he got told on, he said. You went you went to jail. So what do we got here? Pretty overwhelmingly uh, right. There are there are some wrongs though. There are some. Wrongs. I would like. I mean, I I don't. I, I think it's very fucking funny, but I mean, it's not the appropriate reaction. Yeah, I mean, I'm be. with you, dude. Like, it's nope. funny. I agree. I would have probably laughed I, in her face when I was younger too. I would have enjoyed that shit in being there too. I, but it's not right. It's not right. And like, like, there's probably plenty of innocent kids that had to suffer for it too. And like, I'd be scared yeah. if I was I, just sitting there. I'd be genuinely scared sure. for my life. Yeah. I imagine she gave them many warnings. That, right? I need oh, more yeah, history. Sure. I need more story. Yeah. yeah. Fo Fox my News brain told got her me that last happened. week. Fox so. News had her on last week. Oh, come on! Why do they have to take everything? Bastard. I just saw. Uh, we like to support our bus drivers. We hate children, just like her. Our position is fuck kids. <laughs> Your thoughts here, pull it up. I want to watch it. She's they're gonna make it about wokeness, right? They're gonna they're gonna these turn woke it. kids. These woke kids think that they can do whatever they want for sure. For sure. What's that coming to send it to? Dude, was there any trans people on the bus that uh, were instigating this? Any Antifa perhaps? We somehow make this about trans people. <laughs> So let's see. Uh, she resigned. Oh, here people made a GoFundMe for her because I guess so many people were feeling. Got a hundred and ten thousand dollars, a reti a vacation and retirement fund. Oh, well, there you go. That's the best Enjoy thing that ever Jackie. happened to her, probably. She does deserve a break. Clearly, she sure. needs it. She's stuck, man. She's like, I gotta yell at more oh, kids. It was a brutal one. Maria said, uh, we made our music teacher quit because we threw a water balloon at his desk, ruining a bunch of important documents. He quit right there. <laughs> oh, oh, brutal. Jesus. You know, it <laughs> seems like awful. a good idea, but it's in those moments you realize, you're like, I'm the bad guy. You're like, I went too I far. I think that that is, I, yeah, I mean. I've to gone too far. Sound too old timey, but I feel like, I feel like. Uh, it's not your fault. Getting yelled, getting chewed out like that is probably a good thing in the long run because that's part of growing up is realizing that you can't really be a little shit and there are consequences to your actions and you know i would love to hear a bunch of these stories though we should have a call an episode where everyone just talks about the most fucked up thing they did to a teacher yeah i'm seeing a lot in the chat uh, that not, could be a not. really fun segment actually uh skylar says i've seen teachers get absolutely bullied into tears yeah that's that's sad yeah that sucks one time a kid put a thumbtack on a cushion. I mean, that's like a cartoon thing. So uh, Miller has since apologized for her action. And she made it clear she wouldn't change much about how she acted. I'm sorry the way this went down. I truly am. I do not. I do apologize for my action on that day, but I won't take it back. That's my girl. This is a plight of all bus drivers. We are treated in the worst possible sense of the word. Stand up, my brothers. Bus drivers. <laughs> unite. They need a union, for real, though. Probably get minimum wage for that. There's just no words to say how grateful I am for people supporting me. Uh, the superintendent said, This behavior exhibited by the bus driver is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. There it is. I think we talked about everything. Wow. But for the most part, how long have we been going? We've been going for two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, feels like Three. long for some reason. Well, I have the Ariana Grande thing. Nick Cannon wants to have a 13th baby with Taylor Swift. YouTuber gets shot filming a prank. 
funny. Awesome. Love it. See, that right there, what you just said, the YouTuber got shot for doing a prank, yeah. that's what happens if you don't have a bus driver yell at you when you're 13. Fair enough. That's where you wind up. Fair enough. You never learn your lesson, you keep escalating until you get shot for fucking with the wrong person. That's true. All right, well, if we're going to go for a bit longer, I need to pee, so I'll be right back. Okay. Aren't you? Never mind. I miss A.B. I miss A.B. Oh, look at that. It feels empty in here. It sucks. Lena's gone, too. I miss Lena. I miss Lena. I miss Lena. I miss A.B. Oh, look at that. Whoa, look at her beautiful that? purple. Look at that. Look at her beautiful purple cell. <laughs> Is that that's Lena? Lena? That's Lena's shot? That's Lena. I guess the camera that is uh, Lena. Not, not here You know anymore. her. That's Lena. Yeah. Uh, one of my class... Somebody... Jim said, uh, one of my classmates poisoned my teacher with marker uh, marker board cleaner. Oh, my God. Shut what? the fuck. Are you like, kidding? Like, the expo shit. Like, the... Uh, you know, the expo Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the shit? expo spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hope she's all right. Uh... Real quick, I just want to say, one month out till Zach Lewis live with the Roxy. We're exactly wow. one month away. <laughs> any so, tickets left? There are a few how many? tickets left. Come on, say how many. There are a few Please. tickets left. There's a few. Uh, so get yours today. Make there's sure a few tickets. They're left. going fast, folks. They're going Limited like supply. Case. Get what? Get it while you <laughs> we can. We are this close to being sold out. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. <laughs> Now's that your chance. Close, now or never, people, because it's now the last never. LA it's, show. It's the last LA show. Uh. Here's another one. I'm a middle school computer science teacher in New Hampshire, and my school is consistently having knife fights and kids getting high. That's okay. awesome. Kids getting high is, that's standard, but knife fights, Jesus. Only so much you can do at school when the parents do nothing. I mean, it's New Hampshire, baby. Live free or die. Live free or die, that's, that's right. Say, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Uh, are we going to have a 420 special this year? So we were talking about it um, just the other day, actually, that we might try and do something. 420 lands on a Thursday, which is normally Leftovers Day. And, you know, I got to tell you, I had, like, I had this instinctual thought. It's like, oh, perfect, 420, we can do, like, a, uh, you know, a pro-legalization kind of, like, segment around that. And then I remember it's like, we kind of live in that world already i mean at least it feels i guess it, it just feels that way here in california it's completely fucking legal that's boring let's get high <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well that was gonna be involved too that yeah, was gonna be involved buddy. too but um yeah we might instead just do it on the friday after um uh Eula wasn't here any of the times that we did those guess who's highs before so maybe doing it with Eula would add like an interesting uh new angle to it i think that'd It'd be, be like getting grilled instead of just being grilled by dad it's getting grilled by oh, mom, my mom and dad, and dad. yeah mm. you know those uh moments before you'd go into your house in high school and you were like and you prepared yourself for oh, the yeah. conversation with put mom in and dad. the visine oh yeah spray the uh spray the smelly stuff to cover up the smell don't be oh, drunk yeah. don't be drunk yeah everybody's saying uh must be nice yeah i mean it's it's spread quite a bit, I know, but I, I suppose there are still quite a few states where it's extremely illegal, which is just so wild to think about. They'll cut your balls off. They keep catch you with a, a little dime bag. They'll <laughs> they cut, cut your, your balls, balls off. off. Huh? Yeah. Castrate you? Damn. They'll castrate you from smoking weed. Something that comes from the earth. Come on, Bad. Joe Biden. Just Come on, man. Joe could fucking stroke of a pen. Oh, I get hot by the pool. Wasn't that just like Justin Trudeau's first thing is he made weed federally legal? legal in his like first three months or something Why can't Joe uh, he may have do it? I, I don't know i don't know enough about canadian politics i know it's been mostly legal there for a while now some canadian will say in chat i'm sure yeah I'm canadian <clears> you guys are talking about joe know. biden i saw a picture of him where he says he's running again uh-huh yep and i'm trying to find it the picture was so weird and funny i have to talk oh about the it. one where he's got like the crooked smile that's he's, it like, kinda... they, they, what is going on <laughs> What is happening Yo, with this face? He's falling apart, dude. He, he's literally like, I, I, at first he's I didn't think about it, but I was like, wait, this man is either having or recently had a stroke. His face is drooped. Left. The left side of his face is drooped. Yeah, it was um, a, put him, uh, put, a very strange photo. I'm looking for it right now. Maybe it was POTUS. Hurts nobody. <laughs> it was so um, weird. Um, Fucking hell. Why am I not seeing it? I'm still looking. 
All right. Well, anyway, um. Stop laughing. It's not funny. It is funny. Uh, I'm not like super. <clears throat> I'm not very familiar with Ariana. I know Ian is a stan. Olivia, you stan her. There's some stans. I know lots about Miss Ari. Ian, you're a stan. Don't hide it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. We talk about Ari sometimes, from time to time. So, good, you guys know, can help me then. Recently, fans have become concerned about her, uh, thinness? Is that what it is? Yes. She's filming the Wicked movie in London right now. Wicked, uh, like the musical? Oh. Yes. Of course she's in England, which has, like, the most disgusting paparazzi, uh, pieces of shit ever. So they're posting side-by-sides and... I don't know. Um, Ariana attended an event held by Jeff Goldblum last week. Fans showed a lot of concern in the comments. Wicked star Ariana Grande, Cynthia, whatever, and Jeff Goldblum, man. A new photo. She, I don't know, just... Well, without doing what... Uh, yeah, the comments are all pretty commenty. So what do we, I, I kind of want to just have like a larger uh, conversation before I show her TikTok. Are people out of line for expressing concern? I, I mean, uh, she's like super fucking famous. Um, I think that anyone probably talking about your body is too much and the world talking about it is also too much. Yeah, that's kind of the thing is it's like, let's say it's true and she has developed some sort of eating disorder or something. Does everybody uh, constantly commenting in under every photo about her, commenting on her weight help? Of course not. Yeah, right. so. But at the same time, so you can't, Even if can you're concerned, you, it's like. I think. But uh, like at the same time, like in a sense, I get the people too. Yeah, discourse can happen. Like gossip, discourse. We're, these are just the, pe the the peanut gallery. She's like this famous god to everybody else. And if they, and especially as fans, if they care about her, they're like, yo, what's going on? She's expressing concern. How can they not? Right. But when a conversation is opened, it also opens the floodgates for all the trolls and like disgusting things. And those overflow and overwhelm the actual points. I'm not saying that the net is not bad for her. Right. I'm sure it is. If there's anything going on with your body, people are going to dog you for it, and it will always be bad. But there's this dialogue happening where it's like, people need to not comment on anyone's body. And I just wonder, like, I know that it's going to make her feel bad. If she right. has, I don't know what's going on with her. She said in this video she's healthy. Okay. Uh, but if she, let's just say hypothetically, if she did have an eating disorder or some kind of condition or something, like... People are going to talk about it. Yeah. I mean, obviously you want people to be mean, not mean, and more compassionate about it. But I don't know. I'm just kind of like, I think her, I think her point is well made, though. I mean, here's her, here's her video. She put out a TikTok. She looked totally, she looks healthy to me, so I don't know. I mean, some of those pictures, she looked pretty thin, but it could be a weird angle or something. I, I, I don't know. I have made my coffee. I'm on my way to work soon. I just wanted to come on and I don't do this often. I don't like it. I'm not good at it. I don't like, I I'm not good at it and I don't like it, but I just wanted to address your concerns about my body and talk a little bit about what it means to be a person with a body and to be seen and to be paid such close attention to. I think we could be, I think we should be gentler and less comfortable commenting on people's bodies, no matter what. If you think you're saying something good or well-intentioned, whatever it is, healthy, unhealthy, big, small, this, that, sexy, not sexy, I, I don't, we just shouldn't, we should really work towards not doing that as much. There are- Well, I, well I get where she's coming from, right? We could all be nicer. Like if you see I'm not even saying we could be life, nicer. What? I, if you if you have someone close to you 
who's like looking like deathly ill, you're not just going to, if you ignore it, not say anything, that's almost Yeah, if somebody's close bad. to you, yeah, but it, you, no matter how hard you stand Ariana Grande, she is not close to you. Yeah. Well, it seems like you she's don't know making her. a more general point about, because look, she's, a, she's, a, she's a, one of the most famous people in the world, so obviously nothing she says is going to change how people are going to talk about her on the internet. I think she's making a general point. Which I, I I get it right. She's trying to, but but I just I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. She she basically says at the end she isn't super specific about it, but she says like if you're speaking about someone's body and you think that something's wrong, like they're most likely already working on it. They most likely have a support system. So I was wondering if maybe Nobody she said, was yeah, yeah she was trying to tell people like calm down. I've got it. Right. Well, let me let me uh let me, ways to come. I know that. Ugh, God. Okay, I'm not going to read chat while I do this because y'all are annoying as fuck. No matter what, if you think you're saying something good or well-intentioned, whatever it is, healthy, unhealthy, big, small, this, that, sexy, not sexy, I, I don't, we just shouldn't, we should really work towards not doing that as much. There are ways to compliment someone or to ignore something that you see that you don't like um, that I think we should help each other work towards, just to aim towards being safer and keeping each other safer. Um, but I just also wanted to say, one, there are many different kinds of beautiful. There are many different ways to look healthy and beautiful. I know personally for me, the body that you've been comparing my current body to was the unhealthiest version of my body. I was on a lot of antidepressants and drinking on them and eating poorly and at the lowest points of my life when I looked the way you consider my healthy, but that in fact wasn't my healthy. Um, and I shouldn't, I know I shouldn't have to explain that, but I do feel like maybe having an openness and some sort of vulnerability here will be something like good might come from it. I don't know. I don't know, but that's the first thing. Healthy can look different. The second thing is you never know what someone is going through. So even if you are coming from a loving place and a caring place, that person probably is working on I mean, it. This, this advice is only applicable to people in the real life. I mean, when you're talking about a public figure, none of this matters. There's going to be a gajillion comments saying every single thing you can imagine, no matter what. So, right? Right, but I mean... I imagine that the amount of comments have at least somewhat decreased since this video. Maybe her fans are less like. Yeah. I mean, it's fair to say like, hey guys, I know you guys are concerned. Mm -hmm. Like I saw a once, um, what's his name? The dude who lost a ton of weight, who was super bad. Jonah Hill? I saw yeah. Jonah Hill once put out a video on Instagram that I thought was interesting of kind of the same. Mm -hmm. He was like, listen, I know y'all like are trying to be supportive, but please just don't stop. Just stop mentioning I my way. That. that that actually made sense to me when he's like fans. You don't need it. I don't know. Maybe you could pull it up because that, that I remember seeing that one and thinking, uh, you yeah. know, or has a support system that they are working on it with. And you never know. So be gentle with each other and with yourselves. And thirdly, um, the third one's unrelated. I guess I just wanted to extend some love your way and tell you that you're beautiful no matter what. Can I, uh, uh, what does that mean? Hmm. Hmm. When she says, you are beautiful, what does that mean? Everyone is beautiful? What does that mean? Like, what do you there mean is no right way to look. There is no right way to be beautiful. Okay. What do you what do you think about that? Do you think beauty is objective, Ethan? <laughs> what, like what? I, I don't understand what you're confused by. I don't think how to put this. Well, it's not. No, it's not. But I'm like, you don't know me. I'm fucking busted. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm busted. I just don't know what it means when someone's like, it's like you haven't met them. It might be sh pieces of shit. Are, are is 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 uh, Charles Manson beautiful? 
I see. Probably not speaking to Charles Manson. Okay, well, she said everyone. Shit. I <laughs> checkmate. <laughs> everyone but Charles Manson? I mean, I feel like it's like a reassurance thing to, uh, you know, people maybe dealing with body dysmorphia, eating disorders. That's good. That makes sense to me. Yeah. You're beautiful. You're okay. Yeah. Except, except you. Everyone, <laughs> except you, Charles. You're dead, but when you were alive, you were hideous. Everyone hated you. Um, by the way, I'm not wearing eyelashes or eyeliner right now. This is my face. These are my she eyes. She looks amazing, by the way. She's beautiful. She is. Yeah. So don't freak out about that now, too, please. Oh, my God. But, um, yeah. Sending you guys a lot of love. And I think you're beautiful. No matter what you're going through. No matter what weight. No matter what, how you like to do your makeup these days. No matter what cosmetic procedures you've had or not. Or anything. Um, yeah, I just think... You're beautiful, and... Everyone but you, James Charles. <laughs> you be... Everyone be yourselves. James, you be someone else. I... Beautiful. Yeah. I stand by beautiful. that. Okay, there it is. Sorry. Beautiful. Sorry, beautiful. <laughs> there she says. Uh, but I, I guess I, I see it when she's like, please just st stop talking about my weight. That, that makes sense, sure. Yeah, it reminded me... It was a little bit similar to a few weeks ago when Selena... Gomez was pretty much forced by all of her comments to talk about how her lupus medicine makes her gain weight. Oh. And everyone was like, why does she even have to talk about this? Like, everybody was commenting disgusting things. And it was, it was pretty much, it was a similar situation. Here's what Jonah Hill wrote. He said, I know you mean well, but I kindly ask that you not comment on my body. Hill wrote with a heart emoji. Good or bad, I want to politely let you know it's not helpful and doesn't feel good. Much respect. I, I guess that resonated with me. The way he said it. You know what I mean? Because I met some, I, I met some really nasty people. You know? Hideous. I'm telling you. Not everyone's beautiful. <laughs> just saying. You really take issue with that. <laughs> I, no, not really. <laughs> I just, I, I, it's nothing against her. I just never know what that means when people say it. I mean, I'm, it's not that serious, but I just always was like, everybody? <laughs> You're like, everybody's beautiful. I says, really, everybody? <laughs> it feels disingenuous. It feels disingenuous. Not you get everybody. the sentiment. Right. You just, yeah, you, you get what they're going for. Come on. Come on. I don't she's know, probably man. talking to like the young girl on the other side. Yeah, I don't think yeah. she's thinking about beautiful. Charles Manson. <laughs> and everybody, you are beautiful. In every single Good way. way. Except Word. you, James Charles. We need asterisks, at least, with a list of people we don't like. Right, exceptions. Any of the Charles. That's James right. Charles, Charles Manson. Right, right. Someone said, you, you resonated with you because he's a man. Shut up. The way, I think the way he wrote it, in a way that resonates with me. Okay? I saw some uh, discourse a few years ago that she was too heavy. Um... Back that's in like 2017 crazy. or something, she'd put yeah. on just like a little. That's crazy. Weight. Yeah. And now they're saying she's too skinny. So I think at this point, she's kind of like, can you stop telling me like the perfect way that you think I need to be and just yeah. like back off and let me be how I am? I, I love that you're passionate that. about this, Ian. Yeah. I'm stepping, I switched to myself. Love for this it. One. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice to hear from you. Up, Ian. She, nice to see you. She also said something like, you guys have been talking about my body for a decade. So let me weigh in on it finally. Weigh in? Oh, but um, I don't know if she used the word way. All right, let's all just forget about everything. Let's just all forget about everything. Everything is beautiful. Nothing exists. And everything is exists is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Everybody watching this, you are beautiful. Except you, Kevin, you ugly fuck. <laughs> Shame on you, Kevin. Uh, everybody is beautiful. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> nice. You fucking little pieces of shit! I'm gonna drive this fucking bus right off a cliff! Your parents are gonna have to pick teeth out of the burned corpse left! The only thing left to you is gonna be that 
Live Strong bracelet and your fucking teeth, you little bitch. <laughs> I'm telling you. I've got gas cans in the back. I'm going to light them on fire. <coughs> hey, bus driver, fuck you. No, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'll throw you. you out of this moving bus. You fucking suck. You suck. <laughs> All right. I see how it is. Taking a detour to the five. <laughs> About to, you, I hope you guys enjoy swimming. Learn to drive, asshole. Oh, yeah, I'll learn to drive. You never will. Because you're going to die in about five minutes. <laughs> hey, uh, bus driver, you look I'm like about you're from... To, I'm about to 9-11 this bus. <laughs> you smell like eggs. You look like you're from the Sakandi's Islands. You smell like eggs? The Sakandi Islands. Yeah, suck on these nuts, Ooh! bitch! Oh, now, it's all, now it's fucking mass suicide. Hell no. Nah. Let's go. I'm going to wake up this fucking bus. Let's go. There's a bomb under every one of your seats. <laughs> if I hear one more person scream, we're all fucking dead. <laughs> you understand me? You ever been burned alive, little Kevy? Have you ever been burned? Have you ever <laughs> felt flesh <laughs> searing at your skin? The, the smell of your friends burning, cooking, screaming. You smell like eggs. <laughs> That's it. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Fart noises. <laughs> Tonight, I'll go, Cameron. It wasn't me. No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't do, do anything. It. I didn't do it, anything. It literally wasn't me. <laughs> Cameron, I pick you up in this bus. <laughs> I know where you live. Here's what I want you to think about, Cameron, as you tell me I look like eggs. Smell like eggs. I look like I eggs. I do look more like an egg. You look, you you look, look like dude. a fucking egg. You look you like an egg, That is pretty dude. insulting. You look like a fucking egg. I know where you live. Yeah, you've got that window outside your bedroom. You leave the- you keep the curtains up, usually. Can't really see outside, it's dark, but... You can see inside. That's the crazy thing. You can see inside. But you can't see outside, Cameron. <laughs> it wasn't me! No, 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 no. I'm just making a point. Lock your windows tonight. <laughs> Lock your windows. Because you can't see out that window. You don't know if somebody's there, Cameron. I know where you live. I can't protect you at night. Okay? And your little brother? He's a piece of shit, too. Uh, okay. And I'd love to discipline you both at the same time. With a knife. <laughs> You're scaring me, egg bus driver. <laughs> I should be scared. <coughs> no coughing! Yuck! Shut up! That's, it wasn't me! <laughs> I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything, I didn't Jackie! Anything! Yes, didn't do so, anything. Uh, anything. Yes, so... Anything. Anyway, uh, we pretty much said it all, we've done it all. Uh, Ariana, I, you know, it's, it's, I, I get it. I get it. Let's leave her alone. Let's all have a pact. We love leave her. Leave Ari alone! She's been through enough. <coughs> no more comments. Yeah, there it is. Nice. <laughs> well, on one hand, maybe this is the conflict I'm having. I watch that, and then I feel bad, because I comment on people's bodies all the time. But then I'm saying, I'm like, I don't know, because so, 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 is this a condemnation of me? Do I need to change? I don't know that I can stop talking about people's bodies. <laughs> Do you feel beautiful, Ethan? Um... Like, physically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. You don't like how you look? Not at this not at this exact moment, no. Well, you are beautiful. You look beauty. You are beautiful. Human but it seems like, what, you wanna fuck me? What do you mean I'm beautiful? I'm you, hot? You, well, no. You're glowing. Beauty doesn't necessarily have to mean, you know, physically. Physically, it's you know you're handsome. Yeah, you're a good handsome. looking guy. You, uh, but I'm okay. Let's just take the fucking compliment. Yeah, <laughs> uh, fucking take it. It's ingenuous to say everybody's beautiful. <laughs> it just is. It feels phony. Because you know there's some ugly motherfuckers out there. It's just a fact of life. It's just numbers game, statistics. Somebody for everybody, though. There's a beast out there. There's a beast out there for everybody. All right, let's wrap it I up. I felt worthless. <laughs> You're... I felt ugly. We're I over three gay. hours. Do you We're know what I'm saying? Zone. Does anybody no, got my back on this? Me. I don't. I don't. I think you're, you're really? being silly. Really? Nobody? I'm being a little silly.
You are a beautiful person. Oh no, not the whole kids in the bus. Hey, fuck put you! Put your phone away! Fuck Shut up! You, you fucking suck! Go back to ripping up the seats like fucking kids did when they were my age. I used to write in Sharpie on the back of the seats. That's it. I have a beautiful soul. So saying, you're beautiful, does that have a beautiful soul? Because she's talking physically. She says, if you're skinny or big, she didn't say you have a beautiful soul, like, oh, you love dogs and you got your mom a really thoughtful present on, uh, on her birthday. She's talking about physically beautiful. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, those are two separate conversations. So she's saying you are physically beautiful to everybody. Sorry. Beautiful. I think no, it's she, that's what she's saying. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I know y'all don't believe that. I don't think she's saying that. I think <laughs> it's just a nice thing to say. <laughs> to make people feel good. Yeah. And that's nice. But she, it's like telling but everybody... How are you going to feel good? She doesn't know you. She doesn't even know what you look like. She never met you. Because... It's like, like, you okay. can just take the damn compliment. You already, you already said it. it is, is beauty and physical attractiveness something that's objective, that's the same to everyone? No. You already said no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think that. You think beauty is objective? Yeah, pull up, pull up all the people she's dated are probably hunks. <laughs> well, it's also Pete like... Is a fucking weird <laughs> look, right, he's a hunk. I'm just saying, I don't know saying what you're everybody's saying, beautiful, Dan. except I only date like ha handsome motherfuckers with big dicks. Well, it's like, <laughs> it's like you looking at the camera doing this show and being like, all of you are beautiful and yeah, amazing. You literally say it all no, the time. I don't so you're I, saying I don't that you're, think you're all... well. You do. Well, you're also not being like you're scrutinized for your body right now. You know. I think I do it so facetiously, like where it's like y'all beautiful. Okay, we love y'all. There's when, some ugly people watching this. When show. he <laughs> says that, people just know he's lying. Just know that just, some of you I mean, are listen, ugh. Uh, listen, there's some ugly people watching the show right now. It's just a statistical fact. Yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> Fat, ugly, and stupid. <laughs> you ugly, know. you're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to say everyone's beautiful, but let's look at her ex-boyfriends. Talk about everyone's beautiful. I don't see any uh, Eric Cartman looking dudes in her dating history. Just saying. I don't know. Nothing about her dating history. Well, except for Pete Davidson. Oh. They were together for a she did date, I know her dating history. She did date uh, she did, um, Mac, Miller. Mac Miller. She dated one of her dancers. Oh, he's probably fit as hell, right? He was, yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> hot as shit. Ricky. She Probably talks about him and thank you, Nick. Let's pull up Ricky. Let me see his hot ass. Let me see how come she doesn't date ugly with? guys. Let me see him shirtless. How come she doesn't date any fat guys? That's Dude. what I'm saying. Where's the <laughs> fat representation? Don't you know you gotta fuck so few fat guys just for, just for equality? <laughs> you owe it to us fat guys. You gotta fuck a fatty for me. Just you know, <laughs> take one for the team. Just right. prove that everyone's beautiful. Uh. And you know exactly what I'm saying. Mm. Look, fat. Look, here's the deal. <laughs> Look, fat. I gotta see here this uh, dance guy. Look, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. 40. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm fat. I'm That's overweight. It. He nailed it. All right, let's see her. Her. Oh, this is this is the best photo we got of him. I'm looking for full bod. Bro, that's not a shirt. He just walks around like this. <laughs> that's like I think that's like a chicken wire. I don't think that's a shirt. Wait, he also has like the Pete Davidson like sunken eyes kind of thing, you know? Yeah, I see it. That crone chic. Crone chic. Crone chic. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of oh, like, God. women love that. Like, I don't know, like I feel like women, some, not all, but there's like women want you to look like you're on the verge of death. In a sense. Nobody's backing me up today. I know exactly I'm what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm grab. Hold on, I'm grabbing. Dude, y'all know exactly. Uh, women be like, the women who like like super skinny guys. I want my man to look like he could die at any second from drug abuse or starvation. This is him. Yeah. He's ugly. I mean, he's, he's <laughs> yeah, he's hideous. <laughs> he's stunning. Yeah, who would want to have sex with him? Gross. Mm. Tiny nipples. Hey, there we go. We have pro we've identified an issue. Let's make him insecure now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, give me a break. All right, that's enough for now. I'm just having fun. I hope I hope nobody's offended. I'm just having a good time.
You are all beautiful. You are all physically gorgeous. And are you talking to our audience? Yeah. No, you earlier said that a bunch <laughs> of ugly motherfuckers are watching this That show. was just so, a joke. Now I'm serious. Yeah, no. Everybody is gorgeous. I mean, a good 20% of you out there. You're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> I love that. No, you're all so hot. Everybody wants to fuck you guys. All the time. Nah, but I mean, to me, it's more about being a like good person, right? I think when I think you can be attracted to someone once you get to know their personality, and you're like, oh, this person's awesome, I love them, and then you become attracted. I think that's where attraction begins, especially when you're ugly. You got to work with that. I'm not physically attracted to. You got to go. Guys. Like that's what I had to work in my life. I was like, no, I'm a really good guy. Once you get to know me, you'll find me attractive, <laughs> and it works sometimes, not all the times. Only needs to work once. Mm. That's it. You just need to work once. If you're hot, you probably are dumb and annoying. If you're like a 10 <laughs> out of 10, you're dumb and annoying. Probably have a dumb. terrible Yeah, you can't be so hot and also so funny. That's not fair. Yeah. That's, that's not allowed. That's not cool. You know what? I have to say, I've met a lot of dudes in my life who are both like super hot and funny. And where I'm, where are those people? <laughs> maybe, what are you like, talking about? maybe it's just me, but I was you like, have Man, their this guy. <laughs> yeah, you want to give me some names? I can't recall anyone specifically, but I remember mm. always thinking like, this is not fair. You're talking about me, of course. Yeah, thank Dan. you. He's off the market, ladies. Thank you so much. All right. Anyway, yeah, I'm just kidding. I hope I didn't offend anyone. We're just having a good time here. So, uh, well, good news all around. Just a little old-timey fun. You guys know what it is. <laughs> hey, it's a little old-timey. I got my eye on you. <laughs> What's the matter? You got Crohn disease? Or are you just happy to see me? Or are you gay? <laughs> what, are you gay? <laughs> you got Crohn's disease or you gay? <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you guys. We had a really terrific viewership today. I don't know if people all of a sudden like the show or if it's the topic. Oh, there's a juicy, a juicy drama going on. But I'll tell you this, subscribers for the month, 993. Shit. Yeah. Going to Disney World. We're going, baby! Put my ass in that Star Wars hostel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Mm. This shirt's coming out. I don't remember if he said next Thursday. This is another of my additions. Keying out a little bit, but you get the idea. Zuck is a soul-sucking demon. It was really hard to capture this one. It, it took me a while to put that one together. I'm the meat chef. The Jeff Bezos and the Elon Musk ones really wrote themselves. I'm making meats now. Smoking these meats here. Smoking those meats. Puppy! The dogs are worried about me. <laughs> All right, guys. I do love you. You don't have to be beautiful to be loved, although it helps. Let's be real. I mean, look at me. Everyone hates me because I'm fat. All right, I'll stop it now. I'm just... All right, let's go. Stop it. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, don't talk about my boss like so that. So tomorrow... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. So tomorrow we'll be back with leftovers in the morning. Mm-hmm. Loving that. Mm-hmm. Gonna have lots to talk about. And then on Friday, we're gonna be... Having a fantastic, get the, we're not doing that. No Mount Fuji, no suicide forest reenactment, Ian. Shame on you for even suggesting that. 
Uh, <laughs> and Friday, uh, <coughs> we have got a fun little gag we're planning. We're going to put sound counseling headphones on Zach and make him do sound bites. The first time I'm hearing about this. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do sound bites without hearing? Okay. Excited? I mean, I don't, I'm, I don't know how that's going to go, but I guess we'll see. You, you have got- to just kind of, we'll set you up with the grid of all of the camera feeds so you can see everything, but you won't be able to hear anything. <laughs> and you just need to, it's like a, like in Star Wars where Obi-Wan puts like the, Feel the face force. mask. Yeah, you have to with the force. But my ears, are gonna be, my ears are gonna be blindfolded. Yeah, I'm okay. getting you like, like the shit they wear on the tarmac at the airport to <laughs> drown out like a jet engine. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Uh, that was a suggestion from a fan. Actually, we saw that in the comments. We thought yeah. it was a good idea. It's gonna be fun. So uh, anyway, we'll see you on Friday, and then Saturday. Who can forget the big day? That's the big day. We'll be here. I'm very much looking forward to it. But guys, thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you for so much support through the BBTV drama, which I am so happy to say is hopefully going to be behind us, which is the last thing I expected, honestly, but I'm very happy about that. Holy smokes. Dude, we're going to have the best trip. I'm going to be rocking my whole BBTV swag. We should definitely... Do they have merch, BBTV? We got to get head to toe. For we'll a Disney it. trip. You know? Um, People be like, do you work for BBTV? No. No. Just big fans. They they just paid me 620000 <laughs> <laughs> We got the music playing. It's hot. All right, I got to go. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow morning.